Good evening, world. I am Resplendent Seraphin. Today, we are going to be beating the game. Uh, at least that's my intention. Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. In lieu of being able to play uh, Mech Warrior 5 Clans. That's, that's the idea. So welcome, everybody. I hope everyone's having a wonderful week. We're just going to kind of really get started on this. Last time, with a, with a quick recap of uh, last time, we kind of got back in the thick of things. We managed to take out a Comstar location uh, with the main campaign. We started following up on these coordinates, which are in the furthest, like almost like northeast part, so to speak, galactic northeast of the inner sphere map. And that's kind of where we're at. So uh, we're just kind of following these coordinates, trying to figure out what exactly is going on. And just to continue that recap while the game loads, we're playing, again, we're playing with some mods, but they're lore-friendly mods, mostly graphical cleanup type things, a little bit of um, quality of life. I turned off friendly fire so my Lancemate AI doesn't shoot me all the time. That's always nice. <laughs> I think when I installed that mod, I took like half as much damage than I did normally. That's how much damage the AI, my friendly AI was doing to me. So that was kind of required with that. Excellent. Okay, so let's 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 get this started. Let's take a player. Load. Hearts Hill. And I think we did the math. We've been playing in game now for about twenty-four years, something along those lines. And so <laughs> the Battletech universe is very, very long lived. Ooh, we got a rare grasshopper. That's always kind of neat. I think we're going to be hanging around. Yeah, now now we actually get the energy variant Highlander. Now I could 
I could just pick this up if I want a true variant, but I think we're okay with the Highlander that has the literal katana on it. Granted, it's it kind of got beat up a little bit. We're we're letting that get repaired. Everything pretty much the uh, everything had to kind of get replaced here. Um, I don't I don't think we had to replace the LRM 15, but it's gonna take a good 60 days. But by that time. We'll either already be back or we'll be back and we can just play with the standard Highlander in the meantime. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. We already queued this up pretty good. Let's just take a look and see what's for sale here just to do it. I don't really see anything. Yeah, I don't see anything here that's all that special here. I mean, some nice S like Streak SRM2s, but we've already got we've already got plenty of those. So I don't I don't really see that as being all that necessary. Sorry. Give me just two seconds here while I adjust my own volume. There we go. Much better. Okay. Let's take a look. We already took a look at the mech market. Just for the own amusement. Oh, we don't have any pilots available here. All right. Well, let's... let's... Yeah, let's at least take a quick visit up to the cantina before we get really back into the thick of things here. A little too much. You know, there's a mod that actually turns off that um, jumping animation. And I've always thought, eh, I don't really don't. Oh, right. And we're looking for charger mix. There it is. Let's buy that charger. Perfect. So now we can... Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. It's a nice tier 5 SRM6 with Artemis. Boom. Yes. Please and thank you. That is pretty awesome. At this point, we're not looking to met, uh, level up the cantinas. We're just looking for good ones. I don't think we've seen... I don't even know if we've encountered a Mauler mech. A Mauler is a 90 ton assault mech. It's actually a pretty decent mech. But I haven't seen any of them, so forget that. Uh, I mean, we do see riflemen, but at the same time, like, oh, what? like really a heavy rifle? Yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, collect three mask mark one. We'd get a bunch of heat sinks, two million sea bills, and a couple of small lasers that are top tier. All right, well, let's take a look. Do we even have three mask mark ones? I don't think. We do. No, we don't. We don't even have those. We, we only have Mask Mark 3 and Mark 4, Mark 5. So, kind of a moot point. Oh, uh, let's go to sell. That would tell me what I have. Helps when I actually look at the right thing here. Uh, all right, so three, but I only have one Mark 1. I mean, I could. At some point, we'd probably pick them up, but at the same time, like, is that really, is that really worth my time? Probably not. Oh, so lame. Hey, Nade, how are you, man? <laughs> yeah, it is. It is lame. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? Good evening. Welcome to the welcome to the stream. We're going to try and beat this tonight. That's my plan. But yeah, we're we're not going to bother with that. I mean, small laser, uh, granted the small laser tier 4 is nice, but I think we'll just be able to buy them uh, quicker than we could find a couple of mask mark ones. So, fuck it. We're just going to we're just going to move on. I mean, we've got even got I've got I've got a bunch of tier three lost tech pulse lasers uh, already. So yeah, we're not gonna we're gonna bother with that. Pop on some uh, Final Fantasy 14 raids. Oh nice, I appreciate that. Always nice to say hello. So we need to head up here. Good, we can actually reach it. So let's head out. I'm glad you thank you for taking some time to hop in and hang out with me before you're raiding. It's always fun to hang out. I was going to say, if you didn't have uh, Final Fantasy XIV raids to do, you're more welcome to hop on and engage in this buffoon rottery with me. <laughs> As it goes. Alright, so why are you not... Look at this shit. It's not giving us where we need to go. It's obviously... It's doing this again, where it doesn't want to pull up the mission. That's so aggravating, man. Let's see if maybe we just need to talk to her. 
I don't think we need to talk to her. I think what it's going to be needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F for respect. <laughs> uh, Tuesday night is off night with the Woodley. Nice. Okay, so yeah, totally Final Fantasy. No, no worries. I knew you had plans, though. So, but, you know, you're, you're not going to do this. Okay, fine. All right, so here's what we're going to need to do. We're just going to need to warp here and get the game to unfuck itself. There we go. Now it's going to let me talk to Rihanna. Although, I'm sure it's then going to warp Commander, after us. I've completed my initial Whatever. scans. This planet appears to be the location of a lost Star League spaceport. Unfortunately, it also appears that, once again, Comstar have gotten here before us. Why were these coordinates so important to Yamada if Comstar already had them? Why were they worth killing for? I don't know. The more pertinent question is, how does this location tie into your father's past? Let's focus on that for now. Is the briefing ready? It's waiting for your sign-off. Good. It's time we get some real answers. All right. So now we can head into here. Now it's going to let us view transmissions. Well, we got a reckoning. Okay, Commander, the spaceport is quite large. I'm going to drop you on its outer edge, hopefully undetected. From there, you'll need to make your way into the heart of the facility. As I said, Comstar currently occupies the site. Once you pop in on their radar, they'll be coming for you. So watch your six and eliminate whatever forces you encounter. I'll be circling above, monitoring their comms. I'll let you know if I detect anything vital to the success of your mission. I'll update your objectives accordingly. Good luck. Uh, so yeah, now we can't do the mission. We got to do this travel thing first. So we got to travel and now travel back because the game kind of glitched on us a little bit. I'm not sure what caused that, but it seems like it's an easy enough bug to work around. Yeah, yeah. And of course, there's like nothing here. Oh, wow. There actually is stuff. To buy. But I'm kind of surprised. But anyway, so let's go back here. <laughs> we had to waste 26 days just for the campaign to... Uh, enable. I've never, I've played this game a bunch of times. I've never had this particular bug affect things. But, say levy. Like I said, it's easy enough to work around. If we were in a money pinch, it would be a little bit of a different story. But the game is definitely fucking us because we're billed by the number of days that kind of go on in game. So there, the game is actually costing us millions of sea bills by doing this shit. This planet appears to be the location of a lost Star League spaceport. Unfortunately, it also appears that Comstar has gotten here before us. How have they been here? What they found? We don't know. Part of your mission is to find that out. The other part is to eliminate all Comstar forces and retake this Star League facility. The scale of this spaceport is impressive, and to think how much knowledge is still out there hidden, waiting to be discovered. But we simply can't let Comstar be the ones to control it. Not now. Not ever. So we are going to... We'll go with a little bit of money here, just in case we take some damage. But otherwise, we're going salvage. We're going max salvage. You know what? We'll go with one airstrike support, just in case a dropship comes and we could drop something on it just to soften the uh, mechs up. Okay, yep, well, we'll go in with the uh, katana-wielding Highlander. Fuck it. It's ready to go. We'll do it. Let's ready up and let's do this. really nice if we could just kind of advance to the next one and have it not make us do the extra travel. Reactor online. Fingers crossed. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. The spaceport is just up ahead, Commander. We already know Comstar is here, but we don't know how many forces they have on site or how prepared they are for a fight. If we're lucky, maybe we can catch them off guard. That'd be nice. We've been cleared for airstrike support on this mission, Commander. I'll give you the OK once you're in target range. And one thing I do want to do, let's... Let's switch that. Because I was hitting the uh, other button 
So clearly I, in my head, I had a different idea for what three and four were. And I kept hitting the wrong one. So now hopefully we've got that sorted out. This is Sierra 2-1. We are primed for assault. Standing by for your tango confirmation. Sierra 2-1, over. All right. The nice part about having a primary weapon that's energy and not ammo based. I could just shoot shit and not have to worry about it. Hmm, Defiance Industries, huh? So far, this looks ominous. Oh, my Lance mates are crashing into buildings. Looks like the element of surprise is out the window. Target eliminated. Fuck. Dead. Right. And too far away from it. Get back here. Didn't even get to close quickly enough. Would have been nice though. I think we got a tank on the other side here. It's about to show up. It's enough out of you. Good. You already got that tank. Perfect. Good job, guys. All right. I actually have a functioning team, it seems. It took them a while, but we got here. Fuck that rock in particular. Big ass mountains. Let's see, what's this whole map look? Oh wow, we got a big map to cover. More reinforcements here. headed your way. Damn it! Jesus, guys. Leave some for me. <laughs> Nothing else. Good. Okay. Let us proceed to this fortification. We haven't even gotten to the spaceport yet. A lot of course quarters in here, so I'm glad I have the mech that has a melee weapon. Granted, I haven't had a chance to really use it yet, but... Damn, missed it. Sure looks that way. Wow, I still managed to miss it from that range. <laughs> Slice that tank right in two. Speed. There's our whoops. Nice job. All right. All right, that's our urban section up ahead, Commander. Looks like Comstar hasn't done much to shore up their perimeter defenses yet, but keep an eye out for enemy mechs. They must have a few down here for defense. 
Agreed. We know our luck. There will be mechs. What I like about also, while we're approaching this, is the ER version of the PPC versus the standard PPC in this game. The ER version, the projectile, the actual lightning bolt projectile, goes a lot faster. So it's a lot easier to hit moving targets at range with an ER PPC versus a PPC. To me, it makes it all, for that reason alone, it's worth the heat. Look at all these support buildings. Oh, ho, ho. just destroyed that mech. Oh, ho, ho. where are you? There we go. That's what I want. Where's the rest of Okay. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck just... Something. Oh, the enemy mech freaking the power plant on it went critical. Did some damage to me. Fucker. It's like, what hit me? Oh, yeah. That is going to be a... Comstar has already started excavation operations searching for lost tech. Luckily for us, doesn't appear they've been here for too long or made much progress thus far. Target acquired. Oh, man, I still managed to miss it. That sucks. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. Get you with this. Oh wow, I managed to miss you with that. Shit. Got that one. Good missiles. We got good. Dead. Ah, he got it just before I did. Wow, that tank took a fucking beating. Okay. Unfortunately, they're doing a lot of damage to us as we uh, kind of go through here. That would actually be like if this were a tabletop game, we'd be all over that trying to repair it. I mean, we might not be able to repair it and get it up and running again. That Union dropship, yeah, extraordinary, isn't it? When it was still in service, that thing could carry twelve mechs into battle all at once, three full lances. From what I'm seeing. This spaceport was for more than a simple refueling station. But when Star League was still in charge of the Inner Sphere, this must have been a key transport hub. Yeah, before the Exodus, before the Succession Wars. There's still a lot of valuable stuff buried around here. Clear out these console forces and we can find out. Or save these people now, to be more precise. I'm on it. Has a problem. We got a lot of these fuckers. Let's try and... Okay, where's the next one? Okay, did we get them all? Yeah, that was nasty. Alright, they're referring- they were referring to this one. This is a Union class dropship. This is awesome. Taking some, taking some lumps here. The 
thing of beauty though, isn't it? <laughs> Rusted as it is. A Union class dropship can pretty much fight an entire, if I remember correctly, an entire regiment of battle mechs on its own. Where's our next map point? How do we want to get to that? I think we want to go around to the right. Let's go around this way. Also very glad I've increased the top speed of all of these mechs. This would otherwise take even longer. But good, we've got all this to maneuver in. I think we're gonna need it. This whole area just reeks of trap. I'm actually somewhat tempted to wait up while our stalker catches up here. You know what? I'm going to wait for a quick second. So uh, let's scout this out, right? All right, so there's our... We got a couple of ramps up to that area. That's presumably where most of the dropships would land. We've got other facilities up in here. And I don't want to go around it. I think we kind of have to go check it out up here. I'm just trying to think if there's a smarter way to uh, look at this. But I don't really see any other way. I'm kind of thinking we'll just go over here and we'll march right up and we'll see what's going on over there. Right? Oh no, the map points over here. Yeah, you know what? Alright, let's go over here. At least then we've got this wall. If things show up out of there, we can kind of duck behind this cover and figure out what I'm doing. I think that's a good plan. We're going to see if that's... We'll see when I rewatch this later as I'm uploading it to YouTube if that was actually smart or not. Enemy dropship inbound, Commander. Yeah, we knew that. Where is it? See it. All right, let's get to high ground then. Oh, we got an ad break coming in. Of course, an ad break will show up while uh, when the enemy dropship shows up. Here, there it is. Oh, come on! Alpha one one, this is Sierra two one. Let's try and let's try and kite him in here. No, you're gonna. Fucking dodge it. Alright, looks like we did hit him at least. Alright. You know what? That wasn't so bad. I think we at least hit him. So it worked out. Boom! Oh! -ho -ho. Oops, I sh fucking shook at the last second. Boom! Oh, damn it. Blew off my katana again. Fuckers. Although, boy, was that fun to just ruin those mechs that way. Damn. Damn. Not far from your current position. I think it's a homing beacon of some kind. Farhan says it's pinging the victor. My father's victor? That's right. Farhan was lucky to even notice it on his diagnostic display. I've marked the location. I suggest you investigate. So let's Got go me. investigate that. 
Man, we are 0 for 2 with keeping that katana on that mech. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright. Well, it is what it is. Okay, so for anybody that may have missed that for the fucking uh, ad, Yamada showed up. Alright, good. We got rid of that. It's still alive. Fuck it. Target acquired. Firing. Heat's critical here. Whatever. We are. Fucking this asshole up bad. I suggest you finish investigating that homing signal, Commander. The location should be marked on your map. Man, we made short work of that, Lance. So, now I should explain kind of what was because that was really quick and I just kind of had to react to it. So, now is the time to actually explain how that all went down. Uh, this is an annihilator, it's a hundred ton mech. It's basically a walking siege engine. It's got LB-10X auto cannons, um, but it's it's um, main weakness, if you want to call it a weakness, is the fact that um, it has here, complete shit range. Farhad says the victor has been trying to return the signal it received, but the return signal was partially corrupted. Farhad managed to restore it. I've transmitted the repaired signal to your mech. This is Try cool. activating it yourself. And let's see what happens. And voila. <laughs> Holy shit. I've never seen a mech like that before. And in pristine condition. All right, I'm on my way down with Farhad and the salvage teams. Hang tight for pickup. Roger that. That is a cool mech. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Night Star. Twin gauze, medium pulse laser, ERPPC equipped, 95 ton walking piece of advanced death machine. <laughs> it is a great headshot mech. In my experience, the AI is not really great with it. Every time I typically send... Okay, so Jesus, there is a Battlemaster in there? Man, I didn't even notice the fucking Battlemaster. It's a shame we couldn't get the um, Annihilator. Although, considering this was share cost 41, we probably wouldn't have gotten the Annihilator any. Guess I'm not going to worry much about that. But let's see, was there anything else... Usually, if memory serves me correctly, now that I've done this, the salvage ends up not being all that great just because of the fact it's giving you a night star. Uh, a night star. So anyway, uh, I guess we'll go with a Kentaro. Fuck it. And sure, we'll go with a Kentaro. That works. Uh, the rest of the mech didn't even blow through the armor. They just got that fucking arm. They must have hit me with... It, it was probably the Battlemaster that just hit the side of that mech and just blew the uh, blew the arm off. That's one of those just unlucky things. I'm not... I'm not systemically concerned about that mech. I think it's just a fluke that we lost that. And the fact that we fought, you know... What? What is it? Three to one uh, with mechs and everything else. These numbers are much more re reasonable. There we go. Congratulations, Commander. Taking out Yamada as delivered Comstar. 
and more specifically the ROM forces, a devastating blow. I know this is a bittersweet moment, but you've avenged your father with honor. You could be proud of that. It was a big deal. I mean, Yamada kind of showed up in that Annihilator, but uh, <laughs> so there was that. So it kind of went quick, but yeah, that was a big, that was a big moment for anybody that's watched the entire series. Now we've taken out the, um, the moron with Black Inferno, who was actually there on the ground. And now we've taken out Yamada, who actually kind of ordered the hit. As for the spaceport, as you saw firsthand, it's been abandoned for centuries. It appears that Comstar arrived here only recently and immediately began excavating the site, pillaging what tech they could uncover, and no doubt searching for clues to what else might lie waiting out there in unexplored space. Luckily for us, they didn't find what could be the greatest treasure this site had to give. According to Fahad, that secret storage unit you uncovered held an extremely rare Star League era mech, a mech once thought extinct, and if that weren't enough, there's little doubt that it's connected to your father in some fundamental way. Our salvage team has recovered it, and Fahad has already begun its his inspection. When you have a moment, come to the bridge, and I'll let him brief you on what he's found. So yeah, we're going to speak to Rihanna. And that mech is cool. We'll probably pilot it at least once just to just to pilot it. I tend not to like it very much, but... Commander. Well, nice work taking down your martyr and acquiring what can only be described as an extraordinary piece of salvage. You said you hoped this second set of coordinates would provide more information about your father. Well, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Farhad, you want to fill the commander in? Boy, mate, this mech is a thing of beauty, eh? 95 tons of sheer Merlin. She's got two medium pulse lasers, a pair of Gauss rifles, 10 heat sinks built in, some very serious armor, an extended range PPC, and, to top it all off, a top speed of 48.6 kilometers an hour, mate. I'm telling you, she's a bloody beast. Okay, now tell the commander what else you found. Right, sorry, Guff. I started by taking a deep dive into the mech systems database, see what I could learn. And this mech, well, I had never heard of it before. A night star. Been extinct about 200 years, best I can tell. I wouldn't believe that even existed if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I found more than that, though, eh? Seems to be par for the course these days. Farhad. All right. The thing is, Commander, this mech, at some point, belonged to your father. I thought you said it had been extinct for 200 years. How could it have belonged to my father? We found another audio log, Commander. Inside the mech. Identification. Alpha Charlie 7718 Victor Romeo. Year is 2986. I have landed on Godwin Prime ahead of my infiltration of Carita Space. Now only weeks away. I have decided to leave my mech here. It would only draw unwanted attention and risk my cover being blown. It is well hidden and for the time being my true identity remains secure. My mission will proceed as planned. My next transmission is set for approximately one year from today. Commander? My father was a spy? For whom? And what the hell was he doing with an extinct mech? I don't know. Never the answers we want and only the questions we can't answer. We know Comstar was tracking the movements of people and ships entering the inner sphere from unexplored space. I think that your father was one of those people. Only he entered more than 20 years ago. Where his journey originated is anyone's guess at the moment. But I'm beginning to think that the different coordinates he left behind mark the path he took on his way in. You mean before someone discovered his secret and forced him to change his identity? Exactly. Unlocking that last set of coordinates will hopefully solve the mystery once and for all. Right now though, Spears has a new mission for us. Thinks it's time to take another run at Comstar. Slow them down some more. I'll detail the briefing while you get us to our destination. All right. Sounds good. Okay, now the problem is we can't really work on... Oh, but we can do... Turn and burn. Perfect. Okay, Commander. Comstar has not established a forward operating base out here in uncharted space. It's a mustering point for ROM Force's position to help support the efforts of their Explorer Corps. From what Spears' people can determine, it's nowhere near full capacity at the moment, but that could change at any time with the arrival of another jump ship. Spears wants us to hit him hard before that happens and eliminate as much infrastructure as possible before bugging out. Don't think that just because this base isn't at full capacity, 
means it'll be an easy op. It won't. Make sure you go in fully prepared for heavy enemy contact. Happy hunting. And this is what we'll get for this. We're going to pick up a really cool fucking weapons here when we do that. Uh, the question is, do we go up here or do we repair? Let's, you know what? Let's head back. Weird as this may sound. Let's head back. Upgrade the Night Star. Because I do want to pilot the Night Star at least once. And if it gets an arm blown off, it, it gets an arm blown off. That was my only main gripe with the Night Star, is it tended to lose an arm really easily. And the problem is, with the Night Star, you've got... You've got some very expensive stuff on that. Let's take a look at you. Let's go with the loadout. Let, uh... Oh, you know what? Let's take a quick look at equipment. And let's see... Well, we already have one Assault Katana. You know what? Let's buy one anyway. Assault Battle Axe would be nice, but the problem is it weighs too much. Yeah, the Katana at least weighs only six tons. It'd be nice if we happen to have something better. I don't think we will. It's not the end of the world. Well, couldn't hurt to at least look through here while we're re-equipping. I don't think there's going to be anything particularly good in here, but we will look anyway again. Man, they're just these are just super common now, aren't they? Load out. Repair all. Yeah, we're not going to have an Assault Katana anymore. Could go with the Claymore. Oh, we still have a... Three-tier Assault Katana. That's okay. We'll go with that. It's not as good, but it's okay. We'll just have to deal with it. So now the question, I guess, in my head is, do we mess around with that? I don't think so. Let's start work on you. Let's repair you. Yeah, tag we like. We definitely want to keep tag in there. And the thing about the Stalker... That's nice about that is that Guardian ECM. That cold storage will put you in there. And now, now we'll take a look. Hmm. I think at this point I could put this Black Knight away. We're not, we're not bringing in the Black Knight right now. And don't think we're bringing the, Char well, the Archer T at least has a Guardian ECM. So if I need a long ranged missile boat, that is good for that. I don't remember that Battlemaster being particularly great, but at this point, it's really not that big. Let's put the Highlander in there. Let's take a look at this Night Star. Let's see what we could do with this. We've got some decent money here. Let us, first of all, let's paint. Select none. The weird, kind of a weird interface, but yeah, let's give it a good paint, paint scheme here. Now, loadout. Let's take a look. Okay, it's got a shit ton of gauze ammo. Let's take away the gauze. And let's take a look, see what we can replace it with as far as better gauze right Hesitant to give it tier 4 gauze rifles just because they just get the shit sh shot out of them. Yeah, fuck it. Oh, that's got no glory. <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's prepare. Tier 1 gauze rifles. What's their damage 15? Damage 18. Yeah, you're basically dealing with the same. You know what? I think. You know what? I'll just leave this. Medium pulse lasers, however. Let's go with. Be nice if Seraph knew. Tier four. I still have some of these, so that's not devastating to lose. Some of these. Small laser, huh? Kind of inclined to. Oh, but if I. Put a small, yeah, it has to 
I'd have to account for the weight. Let's take a look at Alright, for now, we'll put this in here since I don't have a top tier ER PPC to put in there. I could switch it out for ER large laser and then substitute a small pulse laser. But I don't think that's worth it. Let's just go over here. Small laser time. Yeah, it would have been nice if I could have put a small pulse laser in there, but I we'll do that. We will do that. Perfect. Okay. So let's start work on you. That'll take 18 days to do those swaps. Upgrades. What's going on? Right. Upgrades. Okay. Refined armor. Refined armor. Yeah, the Night Star has a not a lot of these. That's what's really awesome. I always like to go with armor because, again, the more extra armor you have, the less components you lose. Gotta go over here to top speed. Use the top speed. Perfect. Now, this one doesn't have weapons or missiles on it, which is cool. I don't really need the expanded sensor range. I don't, because we'll see them, and I can just pick them off, even at that longer range. So I don't need to worry about these. That that part's pretty nice. I'm not wasting any tonnage on jump jets, so I don't really need to worry about that. I guess the question is, do I just want to go with the anchor turn? Primary weapon is the gauze rifle. Let's take a quick look here. I mean, it could just go base damage tuning here. Because it will do some pretty decent damage. I mean, total weapon damage is over 100. On an alpha strike. It's pretty good. Am I just... There we go. Wow, we only have... Do I only have superior detonation? Are there some other cantinas to still do? Oh, there it is. Okay. Superior detonation, too. Hmm. I mean, I could just do damage tuning. <laughs> so that will help. And now just one more. All right, let's go with uh, let's go with the anchor turn, because that will help me turn a little faster. That can sometimes make all the difference. Top speed will now be basically 56. Good. All right, start work. It's gonna take 100 days. Not the end of the world, because as you've noticed, we are traveling all over freaking God's creation for the inner sphere. By the time we even get back up there, the work might already be complete. And then we can take out the Night Star for a wander. And at that point, we're not gonna go back to an industrial hub. We're just gonna we're just gonna at that point work up to the end of the game. Collect two victors for two auto cannon twenties. Uh, sure. I already think I already have one uh, victor that I'm willing to part with. Kill one champion two n. Yeah, it's a very specific champion. Fuck that. Kill five warhammers though. We will we will face warhammers and that's a pretty good one. So yes, we will go with that. I'm not gonna bother with that. Fuck that one. Yeah, couldn't hurt to look. I was kind of hoping there would be an assault, uh, an assault katana that I could use. No real good ones. We are done here. Perfect. And we have enough travel for that. Okay. For better or worse here, considering each trip cost a pretty big overhead. I mean, that just cost us a million sea bills just in travel fees. Because every time you hop on a jump ship, you do pay them for each jump. 
even with the number of jumps we've just done. It's it's a lot of money. Granted, we got it. Oh. Oh, but um I think one of those is the basilisk, and I don't wanna give up the basilisk. Yeah. We're not giving up that basilisk. We're doing that. So close. Don't worry about that for now. We'll pick up another victor at some point, and then we'll be able to select that. We are not doing that until then. Contracts. Campaign. Comster has established a forward operating base out here in uncharted space. It's a mustering point for ROM forces. ROM is essentially Comstar's, like, CIA service. Uh, ROM forces position to help support the efforts of their Explorer Corps. From what my people can determine, they're nowhere near full capacity at the moment. That could change at any time. I think we already read this, but anyway, we need to hit them hard before that happens and eliminate as much infrastructure as possible before bugging out. Hopefully they'll slow them down even further, which means I, oh, we would only, they would only give us one mission airstrike support anyway. Let's take it anyway. Let's recoup some of our money. And then we'll go pure salvage the rest of the way. Because Comstar tends to give us a lot of really good shit. Okay, so I guess the question is, do I want to go in with this? Or I think at this point... Oh, the, the Night Star's still under under construction. So, I'm actually going to go in with this. Because I know there's at least one mission after this. And I would rather bring in the better mech for the tougher mission later. So we're going to we're going to continue to rock this one for now. Attention. Prepare for battle departure. Fucking Comstar. <laughs> and they are probably the Online. best equipped faction Sensor. in the game. Online. Outside of the clans. Online. All systems phenomenal. Source FOB is nearby. Destroy as much of their infrastructure as you can. Once you've hobbled their capabilities, I'll come get you. Expect stiff resistance. They'll have plenty of mechs on the ground, even if they don't have their full complement in place quite yet. Roger that. Make sure you keep the beers on ice, Rihanna. I have a feeling we're gonna want a few after this one is all said and done. Will do, Commander. Good luck. Mac 1-1, one, one. this is Sierra 2-1. We are primed for assault. Standing by for your tango confirmation. Sierra 2-1, over. All right. Yep, it's gonna be a dem demo. Although that katana should really fuck up a lot of buildings. But typically buildings don't really have a lot of durability for it. Yeah, probably not gonna... You guys... I'm gonna deal with you. Oh, fuck, we got a shit ton of shit. Damn it. Fuck, this is a lot. Shit. Fine. Really didn't want to do that. Come on, shoot that thing. Thank you. We gotta deal with as much of this shit as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Deal with you. Got you. Okay, whittling down their assault force here. Try and. Oh, fucking Victor. Damn it. Taking multiple of these AC. Alright, we got you. I took a lot. I took way too many AC shots. Come on, show up over there. Fuck. 
more reinforcements. Got you. I'm you fucker. Got you. Shifted the second I hit the button. Oh, and I just missed that shot. Out of that time. Not the one I wanted. Oh, bastard. Okay. Okay. Well, these did a lot of damage to that shit. Integrity of this place is down to fifty percent. We're halfway there. That. Enemy destroyed. Thank you. Just getting a little tired of that. Just shooting at us constantly. Uh, we got a bunch of more assholes. Jesus. I had a feeling I'd kill, get to that four. Bastard. Seriously? Jesus. Oh shit. They got to it before I could. Jesus, they just keep sending bullshit after us. Bike. Stop hitting me in the head. Let's go over here. Try and at least get these guys to do damage over here. If we just walk over here. I think I could just walk through this shit. Time. Ah. Uh, all that. Good. Let's get the hell out of here. Still the best ops commander in the entire inner sphere, and I'll take on anyone says different. All right. Enough of that. Go on and get to the pickup point. Copy that. On my way. Got you. See it. Oh, I missed you. That's all right. Come here, you little bastard. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, we got him. Fine. Can't believe I missed him with the katana. Oh, that sucks. But whatever, this place is a pile of ashes. I think I targeted the wrong area of the site with the uh, airstrike, but oh well.
Unfortunately, we only got, we were only allowed to buy one of them. Otherwise, I would have picked one side of it and then the other side of it. And between the two of them, I think that would have helped we weather things dang, weather things dang down a lot. That's okay. We did okay. All right. That, those two ER PPCs we will absolutely take. Could, actually we could take that awesome, shit. The awesome has two ER PPCs of its own. All right, fine, we'll take the awesome. Some good shit here. There's a lot of good shit here. But I still think that's still worth every, all that other stuff. Yeah, we'll take tier 4 SRM 2s. Alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. We picked up some really good medium pulse lasers. That's a thing of beauty. Let's speak to Rihanna. Those medium pulse lasers actually might be a good choice for the Night Star. Like, seriously. They legitimately might. Hello, Commander. The moment we've been waiting for is finally here. You've unlocked the last set of coordinates. I have. They point to another unexplored system. HD 438297. It's well beyond the inner sphere's outer boundary. Deeper into the periphery than we've ever ventured. Let's hope Comstar hasn't beaten us there once again. Oh, they have. We're about to find out. But these coordinates are more than two decades old. There's no telling if we can trust them. We could jump and find ourselves stranded or facing a fate far worse. Hell, your father may have been laying a trap for whoever found the coordinates and unlocked them without his permission. The other coordinates each led somewhere noteworthy. There's every reason to believe these ones will lead somewhere even more significant. That may be true, but it's still going to require a leap of faith, Commander. Are you willing to take that risk? Absolutely. I'm going to that system, Rihanna, and I'm going to learn the truth about my father, no matter what. You have to decide for yourself whether or not you're willing to take that same risk. I wouldn't hold it against you if you wanted to sit this one out. We're a team, Commander. Where you go, I go. I'll inform Spears of our plans. Once we arrive, you know where to find me. Roger that. All right, let's do this. Final set of coordinates, which pretty much, I'm pretty sure this is the last mission in the campaign. So let's just fucking rock and roll. Let's do this. Star League derelict jump ship. Holy shit. Yep, and now the inner sphere, as you can see down here, Irian Technologies, uh, they basically started producing gauze rifles for the first time in hundreds of years. Now we can actually truly buy gauze rifles. They're awesome. It is just a great weapon. Generates next to no heat, has extreme range. They're they're awesome. They're awesome. Oh, they're gonna do this shit to me again though? Come on, man. Don't do that. Oh, you're gonna fucking do this. Speak to Rihanna. Commander? So what are we dealing with, Rihanna? That derelict jump ship is a hell of a sign that you've stumbled onto something major. Yeah. Not every day you see something like that. From what I can tell from my initial scans, there's a massive Star League Defense Force base on this planet. One that's been constructed almost completely underground. Jesus. And Comstar? No sign of them anywhere. I think we're the first people to set foot on this planet in over 200 years, Commander. 
The pathway to the underground fortification is a series of defensive terraces that ascend to a pair of reinforced blast doors. They've been carved into the side of a mountain and mark the main entrance. If that weren't intriguing enough, there's obvious signs that a major battle took place on those terraces at some point in the past. Let's get down there and take a closer look. My thoughts exactly. But if we want to know what lies inside that citadel, I'll need to find a way in myself. While I do that, you and your lance will have to stand watch. Is the briefing ready? For whatever it's worth, yes. We can launch any time. Good. Gear up. Time to find the truth, whatever that may be. Copy that, Commander. All right, so we are going to accept. One thing I'm, oh, Christ, it's gonna make me travel, damn it. I was actually thinking maybe I could go and abort the travel, but whatever. Again, I don't know what happened with that. I've never had this particular glitch. I think it's just one of those weird things. But I guess it'll be good because priority transmission. What the fuck is this? Oh, Solaris. Oh, nice. Okay. I guess we'll have to take a look at that, huh? Right, we're not doing this yet, but, uh, all right, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. But, uh, star map, let's head back up here. Cool. We will, we will do that. I've got a nice mech just for that purpose. Oh my God. You're going to do this fucking thing again. Brianna. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> jump ship and those markings yeah star leak defense force it's incredible but now we can actually do the mission it'll be fine it's a little goofy but fuck it whatever difficulty a hundred this is gonna be a fucking doozy it is going to be a doozy. All right. This time I actually am going to take a decent number of these. Um, I don't give a fuck about money here. We're just going to go pure salvage and pure airstrike support. Yeah, this mission, this mission's a fucking beast. Okay. We are not going in with my damaged Highlander. I am going in with my better Highlander. Um, that was the only problem. Uh, how damaged is this Banshee? That Banshee is not very damaged. I'm going to keep the Banshee. You did get pretty roughed up. So. In crab time. You did not get that damaged, but just the same. I could just bring in the Night Star. I could bring in the Night Star, or I could bring in the Marauder too. Let's see, what do I feel more comfortable giving the AI pilot? <laughs> what do I feel more comfortable giving the AI pilot? I might actually be more comfortable giving it the archer, considering. Uh, although, well, no, I don't want to give it black market. I should have kept the, uh, I should have kept the other one in reserve knowing that this was going to be the real fight. I could just give the AI the Night Star and just see what happens. We could. We could just give it the Night Star and try and hope it doesn't lose a bunch of shit. You know what? Let's do it. Because that's a good mech to for the for background considering it's got the crazy ranges. So let's go into the Night Stars. Uh weapon groups. Okay, good. Gauze is up top. ERPPC, yep. That's exactly how I want that to go. All right. Okay. Yeah. Banshee's negligibly injured. I think we're good here. Plus tag will help with the missiles that the King Crab will be launching and the missiles that I'll be launching for sure. All right. All right, team. I think we're ready for this. I hope we're ready for this because holy fuck, this gets crazy.
I'm in, Commander. Beginning my recon now. Airstrike support is available on this mission. I'll let you know when they reach the target area. I'm always in awe whenever I see any kind of, like, Star League-ish thing. That, uh... Commander, I don't know how the hell they did it, but Comstar forces have arrived using a pirate jump point. You already have two dropships incoming. Prepare to engage the enemy. Copy that. That out of the way. Heads up. You heard him. Lock and load. Alpha 1 1, this is Sierra 2 1. Acknowledging strike pattern. Coming in for the kill. Sierra 2 1, out. We got problems here. Deal with this asshole. New target. Alpha group, this is Sierra 2-1. Be advised. Strike payload is ready and awaiting your tango confirmation. Sierra 2-1 out. Damn it. Here we go. Him. I'll deal with this asshole. Oh yeah, it's just the start. Oh shit. Alpha 1-1, one, one. Sierra 2-1, reporting in. We are standing by, ready to deliver the payload. Over. Firing on a lit target! Whoops, nope, don't, 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 jump over there. Ah shit. Watch out, that mech is going critical! I took way too much damage to the face, man. Commander, I've located a control room inside the base. I'm going to try and turn on the main power. Let's hope it still functions. <laughs> and it's just begun. Whatever you did, Rihanna, it worked. Okay, Commander. Those defensive turrets should be online now. I strongly suggest you make your way to the upper terrace and prepare for more incoming hostiles. Those turrets should help you hold them off. Looks like there's a couple of mech repair bays, too, if you need them. Oh, we will. Understood. Commander, those mech bays have power, but you'll still need to activate them. I've sent you one of the override codes I found down here. Copy. I mean, I theoretically could just run up there and jump up that, but I don't know if I have enough uh, fuel to actually make that jump. If I were really ambitious, Commander, I would have tried. You should see this place. It's incredible. The sheer size of it alone. And the mechs. I've never seen anything like them. I'm going to head deeper into the structure. 
A schematic I found shows something massive at the heart of the facility. I want to check it out. I think All I'm right, inclined. Rhea, but don't take too long. From what Spears says, it looks like Comstar is going to throw everything they have at us this time, and I can't hold them off forever. I'm inclined to hold off I'll here. Quick. Two more dropships headed straight for you, Commander. Roger that. Actually, I think I'm gonna stick to the terrace here. Oh, the second I move, yeah, because yeah, I'm feeling I wouldn't necessarily have a good line of sight to it. Ah, fuck. You know what though? Depending on how which way they come. Sensors painting an enemy mech. New target enforcer. Depending on which way they come. No. Right in that whole mess. Yeah, God, he's getting hurt. Got that one. Good. Nice shot, Seraph. Okay. Killed you. Yeah, why are you not shooting at him? Why do I have to tell you to do that? I shouldn't have to tell you to do that, man. Jesus, for God, he's gonna die here. Wait, what happened to? Oh, did it? It took away my option for the mech bay? Oh, it took away my option for the fucking mech bay. That's bullshit. Oh, I didn't realize I only had a certain limited ability to do it. I wanted to deal with that wave and then do it. I was actually thinking about switching to the king crab to then go to the repair bay. Oh, well, fuck. Okay, apparently you don't have that option. That sucks so bad. Yeah, it's not going to give you that option. Fuck. We're going to lose Fugati. Maybe there'll be a mech bay up here to repair with. Yeah, that king crab got picked on bad. All right. So let's, uh... Let's get up here. You. Let's take you to the mech, mech repair mech bay. Because I think... If we go to the repair bay, it just instantly repairs you. I hope it doesn't just repair things and doesn't leave it. Commander, you're not going to believe what I just found. There's a memory core down here. I've downloaded the data. Right. I forgot about the memory core. Comstar won't get his hands on the data. That is, as long as we make it out of here without being captured. I'm on my way out now. You need to hold these buses off just a little longer. System. Roger that, Rihanna. What's your ETA? I've got more enemies inbound. We need to evac ASAP. Okay. Five minutes, Commander. Aww. I'll meet you at the dropship. Well, at least it's not going to die instantly. At least we mostly recovered Fugati here.
Why are you all the way over there in a fucking... Well, like, how does that even happen? How is he there? No uh, remaining, fucker. Yep, this, this gets bad. Good, we're fucking him up. Good, 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 good. Let's hide over here. Good. Good, you guys got it. Sweet. Yeah, Fugati's dead. Damn it. That was kind of a waste. I wish I hadn't uh, tried to repair him, but oh well. Yeah, I should have kept a couple of uh, a couple of those for this, but oh well. Fucked up. Good. Let the turrets shoot them for a little bit. Go after that catapult, for sure. I'm going to stay up here and let the turrets soften him up a little bit. Ah. Here, Let's head over here. Of course, now we're down. Go deal with that battle master. I'm gonna reposition. Get rid of that. Let these turrets do some of our work for us. Oh, come on. Got it. Okay. Hide over here. Hold the line. We just need to hold out for two more minutes here. Duck behind cover again. Well, I'm out of LRM ammo. It was nice while it lasted. Yeah, I didn't think I'd hit him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was such a nice shot. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Oh, man. All right. That's shooting at something. So I think we should assume something's over there. Come on. Get unstuck. I know there's something over here. Oh, damn it. Just go over here. Come on. Come on. I can't see them. They must be walking around that side to go up this way. Ugh. Fortunately. Ow, shit. He can hit me from there. That's not good. Good. Missed me on that. Oh, we need a victor, actually. Your ETA. Almost there. One minute out. We're getting closer here. We can't hold these assault mechs off much longer. Yeah, I can't hit it from here. I'm mostly just trying to. I'm mostly just trying to keep them away and down there. But that's not good. Yeah, this battle master is going to be a problem. Yeah, that's the fucker who needs to be killed. Good, we got that one. Yeah, here they come. Man, they're really fucking us up. Let's get 
get some speed on. Oh, I'm stuck on something. Come on. Good. Come on. Oh. Good. Let's get the fuck out of here. Up. I lost Delaney. Yeah, I mean, those were crazy amounts of assault mechs. <laughs> yeah, I should have held on to the... Uh, I absolutely should have held on to those airstrikes. I should have been using the airstrikes against... Um, good, we got some AC auto... We got some AC5s for our uh, for our trouble. Yeah, LRM-20. Picked up a couple of those. Got a couple of double heat sinks. Good, we need those. Oof. Man, that was just brutal. That was brutal. Yeah, the victor is definitely the one to take. Um, let's see. They're going to give us double heat sinks. Oh, yep, there's one double heat sink in there. Uh, yeah, we'll take gauze ammo. Well, no, we don't need gauze ammo. We've got 25 of them. So, six. Well, all right, fine. Yeah, let's take the double heat sink then. Oh, I already did take the double heat sink. Yeah, sure, fine. Let's take the gauze ammo. Why not? LRM Automus ammo, sure. Can't really afford anything else, so we might as well take what's valuable. Oof. Oh, Delaney died. Oh, so lame. Oh, man, that's brutal. That is brutal. But yeah, that last mission, as you can see, gets crazy. Oh, he got taken out by a headshot. Look at that. That's just bad luck. That's just bad luck. Yeah, and the king crab just that it just it repaired the uh, the places that the locations that were still there. But uh, I didn't really know how because I've always just repaired my mech in the in the past. So that was a good lesson. The repair bay apparently does not repair everything, and I also didn't even use all of them. I only used one repair bay. So yeah, that could have been a lot better. So let's do a little brief like self analysis here. Things that could have gone better had I remembered how this mission went, I would have absolutely kept those airstrikes until the assault mechs showed up. I wouldn't have used them against the small fry, because I, even though it softened them up and we got through those faster, we still killed those mechs pretty quickly. So I don't really think the airstrikes, while helpful, were much of a game changer, but they absolutely would have helped us soften up uh, the assault mechs that we needed to get softened up. And who knows, maybe we would have made, it, made a dent in them uh, a little bit better when we were really getting pressured at the end there. I think I've done this before, though, in previous playthroughs where I've actually killed everything. And I think maybe that's what I did. I, I kind of waited to the end to do the airstrikes at the end uh, to take them out there. And I also think I leveled. I, I think I ended up going in. I think to do that, I had like three atlases and I brought in a Highlander that was actually the hero Highlander. I think I had the Highlander HM. That was helpful. I think I also had a hero Atlas at the time. I had the Atlas K. That was helpful because it's anti-missile system. It's built into it. Really helps when you're getting hit, you know, completely uh, assailed by missiles through most of that. And so that's just kind of, um, that's, that's one way we could have gotten through this a little bit easier. I should have absolutely used both. I, did, I, th I thought I could strategically wait and then use the repair bay. <laughs> Apparently it doesn't let you do that. Uh, and I could see why. I mean, I was trying to cheese it. But yeah, it sucks that Delaney got got taken out by a headshot. I mean, come on. Like what that's just that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. That's that was just that's just bad luck. Um, but I'm not surprised that we lost that we lost this mech because this one was just in trouble from the get-go. Yeah, six million. Yeah, we we took eleven million C bills in fucking damages. Uh definitely was an expensive mission, but we weren't looking to make money on this mission. We were looking to get a fucking memory core. Hell yeah. That was way better than any amount of C bills that Spears would have paid us. Uh, just on the bottom line. Look at how much fucking damage uh, that we did. But yeah, I think these guys ended up not doing as much damage because I got taken out so much uh, so much sooner. Which is how it, it's just how it fucking went. Um, yeah, deal with seven fucking takedowns. All right, you know what? I have to reevaluate my policy of putting in AI uh, with uh, with the uh, with the Night Star because clearly Major Deal here did okay in the Night Star, not as much damage, but 
um, mech kills fucking seven because hitting the same location with two gauze rifles is just a mech killing recipe. It's awesome. Plus, it didn't take nearly that much damage. I'm going to, I'm actually going to, I might keep deal in that night star. That might be something I keep along because even though having a mech back here that can act as an LRM boat is nice, but we really don't necessarily need that. Um, although maybe I'll switch up and maybe I'll put major, maybe I'll just whoever Delaney's replacement is, maybe I'll put, uh, you know, I might just rotate the night star over here and maybe keep an Atlas back here as an LRM. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we do. So without any further ado here, thanks for having my back down there. Commander. We barely made it out alive. At least this time we beat Comstar to the prize and what a prize it was. Yeah, you know what? That was a surprise to me. So when I said, oh yeah, Comstar will be there. Because it's like, that's our luck, right? Comstar's of course going to be there. I totally forgot we beat Comstar there. Uh, the memory core we found inside that base could be a game changer. No one's found anything like it since the Helm memory core was discovered in 3028. And we all know the impact that had. Yeah, the Helm memory core was discovered just in time. This, the technologies in the Helm memory core basically really helped the Inner Sphere recover like it was something like ridiculous. Like it helped them jump back in time, so to speak, hundreds of years. So a lot of the progress that ended up getting lost in the Succession Wars, finding the intact Helm memory core was a very fucking big deal. Of course, it's take, going to take years to unlock all the data, then decide what to do with it. We're not equipped for that kind of operation, never mind the awesome responsibility it would entail. That's the kind of thing Interstellar Expeditions was made for. I'm sure Spears is already making arrangements. As far as I'm concerned, the fact Comstar didn't get their hands on the data first, using it for their own selfish ends instead of sharing it with the people, is a victory in and of itself. But we accomplished more than that today, Commander. Come see me on the bridge when you've cleaned up. We've got a lot to discuss. So we're going to do that. And now we will... Ah, kill Thunder 5... Th uh, yes. Yes, we will claim. We will claim that. Nice. Uh, now we will do that. Yes, we will do these two victors. We are not giving up those. And yes, let's speak to Rihanna. Let us speak to Rihanna. And then we'll take a look at that arena. Because that looks like it's going to be fun. That's obviously part of the DLC. Hey, Commander. You know that when news of what happened here gets out, and it always does one way or another, you're going to become a legend. You mean we're going to become legend? This entire outfit. You got that right, mate. One for all and all for one, eh? The little Merc outfit that could took on Comstar and kicked their ass. We're bloody legends already, you ask me. Fahad's right. We make a hell of a team. Speaking of team, Spears has been waiting for a chance to talk with us. I'll patch him through. Spears, I've got the commander here. Hey, commander. Congratulations. That was some battle. I'm glad to see you made it out unharmed, for the most part, at least. You've come a long way since we first met. I had high hopes for you back then, being Nikolai's son and all. But you exceeded all my expectations. Can't think of another pilot or mercenary outfit I'd want to work with more. It's been a pleasure. I appreciate that, Spears. I wasn't sure about you in the beginning, to be honest. But you've proved a valuable ally. And more importantly, a good friend. Thank you. Rihanna, being in the field again after all these years, you didn't miss a beat. And the data you siphoned from the memory core before erasing it, the data we now have in our sole possession, that's all thanks to you. Well, I did have a little help. <laughs> Indeed. We won't know exactly what we've got in our hands on for a while yet, but I have no doubt that the data contains an untapped treasure trove of extinct knowledge could benefit the entire inner sphere for decades to come. You sure hope so. Commander, I know we haven't discussed anything formal yet, but with the permission of Rihanna and yourself, I'd like IE to take stewardship of the core's data to help ensure that it's safeguarded and handled the right way, and to make sure it ends up benefiting as many people as possible. Yourself and IE included, of course. Without question. I'm no saint, but I do have good intentions in this matter. We're all going to make a ton of sea bills with this discovery, Commander. That doesn't mean we can't accomplish a great deal of good in the process. When the time finally comes to share this information with the people, 
I intend to consult you and Rihanna every step of the way. Sounds good to me. Rihanna? You have my blessing, Sebastian. Good luck. Thank you both. And with that, I'll say goodbye for now. I'm sure our paths will cross again soon. Until then, take care of yourselves. Bit of a talker, that one, eh? A bit full of himself, too, you ask me. So, Commander, that just leaves one piece of unfinished business. I expect you noticed what was painted on the blast doors that led to the interior of the base. The Red Star? Yeah, I noticed it. Didn't look close to as old as the facility itself. There's no question it shares some resemblance to the Star League crest, but it's different, unique. I've never seen it before. I don't think anyone has. No, I don't think so either. Your father had the coordinates to this place. He journeyed from somewhere further out in the periphery to get here. Then, for the first time, he made his way into the inner sphere. Stashing a pristine Star League mech along the way. We're thinking the same thing, Rihanna. Uh, thinking what exactly? I'm a bit lost here, mate. That my father descended from the people who followed General Kerensky. Blimey, mate. You mean the bloke who took the Star League Defense Forces, along with most of their tech, out of the Inner Sphere, never to be heard from again? That's right. I also think there's more of them out there. And that one day, they'll be coming back. Wouldn't that be a spectacle? <laughs> Until that happens, what's next for us, Commander? Well, we're not super rich yet, so it's business as usual, I guess. Time to line up some new contracts. Consider it done. All right, then. Now that that's settled, gonna get back to work if you don't mind. Still plenty to do. Story of my bleeding life, eh? You know what they say, no rest for the wicked. Just one thing before I go, go. Might be a bit out of line here, so... And thus is the conclusion to MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. And we could still do a little bit more. And actually, I'm actually I'm, I'm really looking forward to looking at the DLC that I had picked up prior to this playthrough with that Solaris primary mission. That should be very interesting. I've never done that before. But if it's anything like the other DLC ones, it's going to be like almost like a little mini campaign. And we did on this particular playthrough, we did do Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. That was super fun. So I'm thinking we'll just do that. And um, depending on how it goes, I might do that tonight. I'm thinking very likely that uh, that I'll do that tonight because why not? We're already kind of on a roll. <laughs> Pardon me, sorry. But in the meantime, let's uh, let's watch the credits a little bit. I am curious to see what the differences are going to be between this game and Mech Warrior 5 Clans. Now, I have seen a little bit of gameplay from Clans. It looks it looks a little more cleaned up. The laser effects look a little bit better. It doesn't look all that different. That's a, that's a fucked up Centurion. And of course, what they alluded to there both Rihanna and uh, Commander Mason, they were talking about ultimately the clans because the clans are uh, ultimately are what became of Kerensky's exodus. And it's a long, big story of how all of the clans came about. And I want to say there are like 16 clans, I think. There might be 20. I don't remember the exact number. It's been a little while since I was really really into it and uh oh right legend of the kestrel lancers right hans and melissa steiner were both uh yeah that's right they did play brief moments and of course that's battletech hall of fame characters there rise of rehasseleg oh right we still haven't oh rise of rehasseleg huh uh yeah we didn't actually get that one i'd i'd, I'd heard mixed res sort of like mixed reviews on how yeah, there's an atlas about um, Rise Over Hasselag. So I'm a little, I'm still a little weary, wary rather, of uh, playing that one. It's 
some of these uh, landscapes are really beautiful. I'm trying to think what. Oh, that's a that's a downed VTOL. What kind of mech is that? It's not a mech at all. An engine. I think this is a different song than the, what they played the first time also. No Guts, No Galaxy. I theoretically could just go let this play while I grab a soda. <clears throat> I don't know if I could just skip it. I don't want to skip it though, considering we just played a, at least in my opinion, a pretty good game. Obviously, there are some areas of improvement. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother you guys with a rant of uh, how artillery is handled, but <laughs> clearly, it's a game I enjoy, and not just because I've always been in love with the BattleTech universe and BattleTech games in general. But they did. They did do a nice job. I stand by that. I stand by my endorsement of this as a game. I'm looking forward to playing the next one. But let's see. Other than this. Where do we go from here? So the crest. The crest I'm pretty sure was I'm trying to think the red the red star ones. But I'm almost positive that's Clan Wolf's. Almost almost positive that belonged to Clan Wolf. But I'd have to go through and re-familiarize myself with all of it. Um but having not looked at it for a while, it's still pretty clear. <clears throat> uh, and now we fade back in. Yep, now we're back to Operation Anata, establish a beachhead in Ronin territory. Wait, didn't we already do Operation Anata? Oops. I want a few transitions. Ah, the mercenary life. Okay, with the ancient memory core now in the hands of the people, Commander Mason's story has reached its end. However, the inner sphere continues to broil with conflict. Contracts are plentiful in error. Uh, I'm plentiful as error. Basically, now we could do some better ones. So if we go to view transmissions, we've got some pretty crazy ones. And these are, these tend to be really difficult ones. You know, I'll just accept these. Just to make it easier. Okay. We still have five months. So let's, let's exit out of that. Yeah. Boy, we, uh, we're going to have a little bit. Let's go back to Inner Sphere. Uh, let's go back into territory here. There's Freakbot. Greetings! Let me uh, let me skip over here and we'll do some shoutouts. You guys come at a good time. I literally just beat the main campaign. It was uh, pretty crazy. I want to say it was... Uh, oh shit, man, we got a whole bunch of shit going on here. Uh, <laughs> so let's, let's just deal with... Let's deal with this first. So greetings, Freakbot. How was Resident Evil 2? Did you end up beating it in uh, in around three? It's been about, yeah, it's been about three hours. Did you end up beating it? Freakbot. Let's do that. Now we made it to the sewers. Ah, okay. Excellent, though, but good good progress. So, so much for S tier. But you, we were, we were even talking about that. I'm like, yeah, if it happens, it happens. Uh, got turned around. <laughs> that will kill your time. Yes. Especially when you... Cause, because, again, when a game like that where you really have to go quick, you can't be getting lost and doubling back and anything else. Um, at some point, I actually kind of want to try to play East Oath of Felghana because there's an achievement where if you beat it in like two or three hours or something crazy, uh, you can get an achievement of didn't stop to smell the roses. Now, mind you, I think it took us 30 hours to beat that game on my playthrough. So to beat it in three hours feels like fucking crazy pills, but I'm still going to try. I am still going to try it, <laughs> but welcome Raiders. I am resplendent Seraph. Let's actually, let's, let's switch a little bit. Yeah, that, that feels insane to me, right? That does. It feels a little insane. 
But greetings, welcome Raiders. Like I said, we did just beat uh, Mech Warrior 5, but I'm still gonna play a little bit because there's a new DLC little mini campaign that I didn't know about. Oh, why thank you, Prince Jack 95 I appreciate the follow. Um, so mostly I play RPGs. I'm sort of like a pseudo variety streamer. I mostly play RPGs. Uh, at some point, one of these days, I will finish Fallout 4. Right now, we're playing Mech Warrior 5, uh, and we're we're gonna do a little bonus time here as I play uh, Mech Warrior 5. I'm actually really looking forward to playing Mech Warrior 5 Clans. We just got done doing a whole bit of a lore dump, uh, so I do appreciate that. Yeah, and that's a good point to bring this up. Uh, if you're enjoying the stream, feel free uh, hit the follow button; it's free. Um, and same if you're watching this on YouTube later, feel free to subscribe and uh, and uh, like that as well. But I appreciate you, my friend. Welcome, welcome everybody. <laughs> So yes, we are playing Mech Warrior, and we beat Battletech earlier. Let's switch back to in-game here. Let's let's view transmissions and see. Offer to help, Doctor. Three-month warning. Ah, okay. We should seriously consider accepting this offer. You know as well as I do. Good-paying gigs have uh, been scarce lately. Helping out Galatia and the Mercenary View Board could really give us a boost. Plus, it'll prevent you from dying from boredom. I think what she's talking about here is. Uh, yeah, okay, because, yeah, oh, wow, yeah, we went, we went a long time. Okay, so let's, uh, we're going to accept this in a second. I'll read off that, but let's go to, to the mechs. So before the Raiders, all of you wonderful people showed up, we, uh, we succeeded at beating the last mission of the campaign, and boy, was it a doozy. We got really messed up, but I didn't lose any components of this, so that's good. But we got we got hammered. Uh, the king crab, we got uh, we got really we got we got messed up pretty bad. So let's hit repair all. And let's see what we can do with this. So I lost my AC five, lost my LRM. Okay, so let's see if we can do a little bit of bookkeeping here as we get this king crab repaired. Let's take a look and see what AC fives we have. Actually, we could just load it up with four top tier auto cannon fives. Holy crap, we could do that. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. And then this will be my backup mech because I'm not trusting an AI pilot with these. But holy shit, that is going to be absolutely devastating when we roll this out into the field. Let's say, let's go over to LRMs. We got LRM 15s in you, right? So let's take a look to see what we got. Oh. Got a bunch of these. I think I'm kind of... Yeah. All right. So let's remove this. And we'll make the match. Yeah. LRM 15. And then LRM 15. Perfect. We are good to go. It'll take 106 days. But our king crab will be up and running. It's... Yeah. It's just going to take a while. <laughs> It's just going to take a while. Okay. And here's the mech that belonged to our pilot that died. They got taken out by a headshot. It just happens. I mean, what, what, it's one of those cases where what do you do? What do you do? All right. So uh, we can go in here. Let's take a look at tag. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we lost a really good target acquisition gear. That's kind of how it goes. Let's take a look. I'm not going to put medium pulse lasers of that caliber but we will put that kind of a medium pulse laser back into it and we are good to go our banshee here it's going to take 52 days but it'll be repaired because that one didn't get all that damaged it just it was bad luck that uh that took that guy out so let's repair all good we're in good shape okay never mind let's uh let's take actually let's take a look at the gauze do we have any better gauze rifles that we could put as a pair we could do that. Why don't we try that? Let's try this. There we go. So we got our Night Star, which this is an awesome mech. We just picked this up while we were fighting Comstar, which essentially is space AT&T. We got that settled. Sorry. Like I said, we just kind of ended the campaign. So now I'm dealing with the bookkeeping of all the damage. But you can judge from the damage that we had one hell of a... Uh, one hell of a fun time trying to get this all up and running here. Uh, wow. Is... Hmm. All right, repair all. I actually thought I had lost that katana, but I guess I didn't lose the katana. Interesting. 
But all right, there we go. Okay, so here's my Highlander where we've got a melee weapon. This is probably... Actually, before I do that, is there anything else I want to do with this? Actually, yes. Let us... SRM, SRM, SRM. There we go. Let's take you out, and we'll put you in. Um, is there anything else I could do with that LRM-15? I think that's the best I've got for that. It is the best I've got for that. Uh, yeah, eh, that it kind of is what it is. Wow, I've actually picked up a bunch of LRM-20 top tiers, but it's just not meant to be with this. Okay, but we will at least replace that. Let's repair you. I think you're just armor. Let's repair you. Uh, Dead Space 2 tomorrow during the day. Nice! Yeah, I'll tune in for that. Um, Dead Space, Dead Space is such a fun, fun, uh, a fun series. And then you're just armor. Okay. We got you. Oh, let's repair. Is there anything actually I want to do with that? We've already got top tier gauze. Anything else? Do I have better medium lasers? I don't think I did. Yeah, not, not to really be able to do with that. And I don't have a top tier. Don't have a top tier SRM six. That's just a base. I only have the Artemis. We're not going to worry about that. So you're fine. We're just going to repair. Okay. So there's all of that. Holy smokes. Okay. So that being the case, let's take a look. Let's see. Yes, we will buy that top tier Streak SRM. Let's buy those two while we're at it. Anything else of value here that we want to pick up? Just in case we need to do that. I think we're good elsewhere. Mech market, is there anything all that good? Okay. So while we're repairing, let's head up to here. How many? That's actually a good point. I have 76 days. Okay. So first things first. Let's save. Let us do a new save. Now that we've beaten the game, just so that I don't completely lose track of what I'm doing. Good, we'll go to Graven Hague. Let's see what Cantina missions there are. Maybe on Halloween. Whoops, wrong tab. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Yeah, it's always fun when you're managing multiple tabs. Like, say, wait, what? What was I doing? Okay, so we got a rare Highlander. Yeah, it's... we have we have a bunch of those. Although this is what I was talking about earlier. So this, we fought one of these. Yamada was actually in this. So there are four AC-10s and four medium lasers. If you get anywhere close to this thing, it just mows you down. So I kept my distance and just kept sniping it with LRMs and a gauze. And I think I was able to, and we were able to take it out before it could really hurt us. But boy, that would have hurt us really bad if that could have gotten closer to us. I don't see anything else here that's particularly interesting. Um, there really isn't anything else here that's worth picking up. There is not. Okay. So uh, that being said, let's cruise over to the cantina. Yeah, there's always... These are always good. AC-10. Oh, a bunch of crap. Ugh. Ugh. Well, we could use money. Fuck it. We'll just accept them. All right, that being said, let's do this. Okay, I hope this message finds you and your unit in good health. I'm Wayne Deere, an information broker based on Solaris 7. Now, Solaris 7, again, in the lore of the Battletech universe, it is best known for its arena uh, league, where battle mechs will just go into arenas and duke it out one-on-one, -on -one, or four-on-four, -four, what have you. Uh, it's, it's, it's blood sport for the 34th century. I have extensive connections that provide vital intel across the inner sphere. <laughs> I hope your message finds you well, because it will. It will find you. <laughs> right. I'm reaching out on behalf of Lawrence Bonham, the planetary governor of Gal uh, Galatea. He has called upon top mercenary units to address the escalating challenges facing the mercenary star. The region is grappling with increased pirate activities and other disruptive elements compromising its security. Not what I would have expected when, I, when they mentioned Solaris, but anyway... As you're aware, the Mercenary Review Board Center remains based on Galatea. Any assistance you provide 
will be viewed favorably by Galatea and Comstar. We just finished making Comstar our public enemy number one. <laughs> but, you know, I digress. Governor Bonham is eager to proactively tackle this situation before it worsens. Considering the stellar reputation of the Cavaliers and the Mason name, your assistance is precisely what Governor Bonham seeks to safeguard Galatea's reputation and economic future. Should you choose to accept this offer and see it through, I guarantee more lucrative opportunities will come your way. I look forward to hearing from you. So yes, accepting this offer will cede travel and mission control to your employer for one year and eight months. So let's do it. Let's accept and let's depart and let's see what exactly this whole thing uh, involves. Smart move, Commander. I'm delighted that you've chosen to accept the offer. Governor Bonham has been informed of your forthcoming arrival and he's eager to brief you on the current urgent and potentially precarious situation unfolding in the heart of Galatea City. Hello, cat. So welcome, <laughs> welcome everybody. My co-host, my feline co-host has decided to join in. Usually she causes chaos by either biting my feet or trying to drink out of my glass that I'm drinking out of. We'll see which, which she decides to do to in introduce chaos to the stream tonight. As previously mentioned, Galatea has been a significant rise in crime, has seen a significant rise in crime and violence since the Wolf Dragoons uh, established, outre uh, established outreach, drawing away a substantial portion of the supposedly honorable mercenary contingent. Now, mind you, for uh, everybody's benefit, the Wolf's Dragoons are actually clanners from Clan Wolf that have traveled to the Inner Sphere. They're just not using Clan Mechs. But, uh, but yeah, they're... Uh, that's, that's the Wolf's Dragoons, hence the honorable mention to it. Upon your arrival, Governor Bonham will provide a comprehensive update on the situation. I wish you success on carrying out this task. Successfully completing it will open doors to more lucrative opportunities I can put up for you. However, let me be clear. The responsibility to deliver the desired results rests squarely on your shoulders. Fair warning, I have no patience for units I recommend that fail to deliver. It is a blemish on my name as much as yours. These shortcomings will force me to speak unfavorably on the unit's name and reputation. Now, you do not need to bite my foot, you little shit. Come here. Hi. Come here. Come here. Come here, Cleo. No, don't bite my foot. I'm trying to read. <laughs> and the unit's name and reputation, which hinders their ability to secure future employment. Yes, lay on my foot. That's fine. Hello. I know. I love you too. But I'm sure a veteran like you won't allow that to happen. Best of luck, Commander. Sincerely, Wayne Deer. Let's set course. <clears throat> My goodness. Well, let's see. And this is the same animation they used for Legend of the Kestrel Lancers. They're just reusing it. But that's fine. And now we're in new territory, because I've played through the main campaign before, but I have never played this DLC campaign. I have no idea. Zero. What we're about to expect. Or, I have zero... <laughs> I, I can't... I don't no idea what to expect. So we're all going to experience this one together. Well, let's see. We're now at Galatea. Where is... Oh, I don't even have an option for the uh, Inner Sphere map. I have no idea where we are. I'm imagining it's got to be close to Solaris 7, though. But let's take a look and see what we can buy. <coughs> we don't need to buy that rare Orion. Although the Orion... The Orion... Why is it? Oh, it's rare because it's intact. That's all that's going on there. I don't see anything crazy here, although, well, we've got we got a bunch of those anyway. I'm not really worried about that. You know what, though? Let's... We'll buy eight of those. Now I can... Ooh, double heat sink? Yes. We always buy double heat sinks when we see them. That is awesome. Is there anything else here that's like really valuable? No. Okay, perfect. All right, let's go find out what the story is with this mission briefing. Welcome to Galatea City, Commander Mason. Your timely response to the call is much appreciated as we currently face a pressing issue that demands immediate attention. Ronan's Shredders, a formidable group of pirates, has wreaked havoc upon Galatea City, armed with substantial firepower. While their motivations remain unclear, I suspect they may be acting as a Trojan horse sent by the Dragoons on outreach to sow chaos and discord. Uh, I remember correctly, though. Outreach was up... No, anyway. Uh, the Shredders initiated shadow raids, targeting key locations such as Galaport and Cone City, 
before focusing on the Mercenary Review Board Center within Galatea City. The potential threat lies in their interest in raiding data caches, which contain sensitive personal information, banking details, and other valuable data belonging to mercenary units that they could exploit or sell on the open market. Hence, his Rough Riders, serving as a, Roman secu a roaming security force on the system. Romans. No, no, no. They don't have, they don't have fucking spears. They don't worship Caesar. <laughs> They're not in New Vegas. Goodness gracious, Seraph. Uh, the Shredders have strategically pinned them behind defensive fortifications on the path to the MRBC. To prevent further damage to Galatia's reputation and economy, your mission is crucial. Break through Ronan's defensive forces, unite with Hansen's Rough Riders, and thwart the pirates' attempts attempt to pillage the MRBC. Given the gravity of the situation, we can't afford any missteps. Your decisive actions are essential to restoring order and preventing additional harm to Galatia. Outreach has already inflicted enough damage, and your success in this mission is pivotal, pivotal to safeguarding our system and its economic prospects moving forward. We do not want Comstar to believe we can't maintain the MRB. All right, so let's uh, let's continue. Pirates already don't like us, so fuck them. Okay, we already went through all that. Let's see. I could. Well, we already have a decent amount of money, but let's go with. Wow, they are really going to pay us money. Holy shit. Damn. All right, yeah, let's make 5 million sea bills, and then let's go this route. Just to see what salvage may end up dropping in this whole thing. What's up, cat? Okay. Let's see. Who's my best pilot otherwise? Got Captain Hayward or Captain Sains. Got Captain Curtis, who was also up there. Louis Fenstrom. Thinking either Hayward or Curtis here. Oh, well, that's a no-brainer. Let's go with Curtis, 54 to 45. Yeah, it's here. Okay, question is... Also, what next? Do we send you in with the Nightstar? Oh, Nightstar's in Bay 4. I think we'll still go with the Stalker because of its guarding ECM back here. As for you, I think we're okay with going with the Night Star. I like the, I like this 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 layout of mechs. We've got a mech killer here. We've got LRM support back here. We got a pretty fast Agile mech that also can snipe and act as like a Lancer mech here. And... question is, do I want to bring this, or do I go with Tonamek? Let's go with this. Let's go with this, because slicing things up with the Katana is fun. The only thing I'm going to do, however, is let's, let's go in here, because I was right about the weapon groups. I just got to hit the right button. Because, yeah, that's generally... Generally, button three is what I use for long range max. I don't know why I was thrown off with this one initially. Well, let's go with that. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Welcome to Galatea City, Commander. Thank you for answering the call. Ronin Shredders are targeting the data caches belonging to prominent Merc units inside the Mercenary Review Board Center. Hansen's Rough Riders attempted to resolve the issue, but they failed. Their forces are currently pinned down by enemy units. These bastards have been a handful, Mason. Don't take them lightly. Hang tight. I'll mop up the mess. Please, Commander, stop them from getting their hands on the Merc data caches. Outreach has already cut into our business enough. Copy that. I'll take care of this. Help my unit out of this Fuck. jam, Mason. We'll be square after you sneak a couple contracts from us. Target destroyed. Okay, a pair of nice shots there. So, Grinnings, are you... Oh, shit. Right. have lasers anymore. Okay, nice shot. Deal with this one. Nope. All right, fine. Ugh. Turret got me. I 
killed it after a second. <laughs> Alright, we got a turret over here. Damn, fine. Uh, so you looking forward to your week off, Freakbot? Also, have you given any more thought to uh, Thursday night plans if you want to do any kind of like Halloween kind of get together? I'm obviously not going to get through uh, details of that on stream, but uh, if you want to meet up. Holy shit, I blew that frickin' tank all the way over there. I do think I prefer the standard Highlander, although I do like the fact that this one will just obliterate things that's close up. This will probably be a good Solaris 7 arena mech. Gotta figure on what. Nice, alright. Same with Rob if you want to join us. We gotta go over that way. Alright, so we gotta just fight through these assholes. Looks like there's a bridge. Alright, so yeah, there's all that. So we could go down. Alright, so we already have our first choice here. Do we go across here and stay up on high? I think we do. Let's stay. Let's stay up here. I really don't want to go down deep into that ravine. Otherwise, if there are mechs up here, we're fucked. Oh, I lost it the second after I fired. Oh, I somehow missed it. Boom. <laughs> oh, that was a bad shot. What the hell was that? Probably an urban mech. Yep. Bastard. Got that. Nice job, Curtis. Alright, now we just walk through here and destroy everything. Excellent. Sounds good. It's probably going to be something along the lines like karaoke. But we can, we can talk about that either on Discord or uh, whatever. I'm going to chop this thing down. Boom! <laughs> Let's do it. We know how to riff, <laughs> raise hell, that's for sure. Bastard. I had a feeling I'd lose. Oh, no, no, you don't. Boom! That's enough out of you. Bitch. Punk ass. Yeah, that could be a problem. Let's get you. Nope. Okay, good. That thing's dead. Ah. Nice job, Seraph. Just completely miss it. It's fine. It's totally fine. Turn these little punks into slag. Of course, I don't think these guys are all that tough. They're just designed to soften us up. Got eyes on the next target. Moving to take out the second stronghold. I've lost all my armor on my uh Gimme. Oh. I miss? I think I missed. Damn. Ah, no. Alright, well, 
killed you with missiles. You are a problem. I actually really thought they were gonna... Now I've got you. Got him. Come on, give me target lock. Thank you. Oh wow, you're still alive? Okay, geez, that was a tough one. You. Okay, you guys have that under control. Let me deal with this. Good job. All right, got that under control. Any line of sight? Nope, nope. All right, fine. I'll jump. Got it. Okay. What else is over here? Oh, we just got to deal with this. All right, I got to try to... Avoid giving them a shot to my left arm here. That's it for you. I actually didn't think I was going to... I just was taking a pot shot at that turret. But we know there's going to be more. But wait, there's more. I'm totally going to lose this katana, aren't I? <laughs> we could so see this coming. Let's see, maybe we can get them to come to us over here. taking the bait are they all right they're not taking the bait down by pirates then it is time to call it quits got that one maybe maybe we can entice them to come over and fight us over here I don't think so though let's try it nope not happening all right fine let us engage Wow, didn't take out that turret? Oh shit. What the hell is that turret made out of? <laughs> oh, we got we got massive bogeys coming in. Oh shit. Yeah, we shot at the same one. Oh, I just missed it. Nice job, Sarah. Um, holy smokes. Good job. Okay. That time, they handled that a little more tactically, although I was not expecting a wave of air... More of them? That's not good. Ah. Damn it. Nice job. Hard to get a lock on you. you that time. First way he turns. Need it. Yeah, I had a feeling. Nice shot, Seraph. Okay. I think that mech just exploded. <laughs> Now, what the hell fresh brand of bullshit's gonna show up to give us a better shot? Oh, tank. Oh. Okay. 
moment. Yeah, we'll just walk through these walls. Smashy, smashy. <laughs> there is something oddly satisfying about just hitting a satellite dish with a gigantic building sized katana. Okay, so now, with a cool dry wit like that, I could be an action hero. <laughs> Let's see anything up there? Don't see anything? Okay, nope, don't see anything. Okay, you know what I am going to try, though? Yeah, let's try this. Okay, so that's that. Perfect. We got this. Weapon groups. Oh, yeah, we need to turn that off. Uh, it needs to be that. That was very awkward. Yeah, I have a feeling these two would get in the way. Oh! It showed his back to me. Wow, that mech is still alive? Alright, there it's dead. You. I've had quite enough out of you. Fuck that thing in particular. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> Whoops. Did not expect you to just jump in front of me there, buddy, but okay. Some of the dialogue is a little cheesy, but you know, like Freakbot said, <laughs> like that dialogue, like that, you could be an action hero. Let's see, we got a wolfhound, we got, yeah, we got some decent stuff here. Probably could just pull that thunderbolt. Let's see, is there anything better? Actually, I'm probably better off just pulling the thunderbolt here. Ooh, small pulse lasers. Yeah, we'll take the lost tech. We always take lost tech when we can. Let's see what else we got. All right, fine. We'll take the Jaeger mech. And outside of that, we'll take that large laser. Wow. All right, fine. We'll just take the large laser. Marvelous. Not too shabby. Oh, we got cantinas. Let's see. Ugh, it's always a freaking annoying. Ooh. Collect one Marauder? We've done that. Yeah, I think we could do that. 
So I like the collect one Marauder or collect one whatever mech because any variant qualifies. When I see something like this, where it's kill one Cyclops, very specific variant, like kill the CP-10-Q, Cyclops mechs aren't particularly common to begin with, but uh, to find one very specific variant, but we'll do this. So I think we can already do that. Yep, we already have one. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we'll give you that one. That's a no-brainer. Sure. Yeah, give me a top-tier AC-20. Please and thank you. Uh, all right, so what's... Well, let's go in here and let's repair. We should have time to repair. We should have time. That Night Stalker was fun. <laughs> That's Night Stalker was a lot of fun. Granted, the King Crab can also be a lot of fun, but let's see. All right, we've certainly hit the ground running, Commander. This is an effective start. You've broken through the Shredder's lines and loosened their grip on the Rough Riders, but they still have control of the MRBC. I fear that even if they're not able to secure the Mercenary Unit's personal data caches, they may just go scorched earth. You and the Rough Riders must prevent this at all costs. Galatia cannot f afford Comstar to get wind of this situation and lose faith in our ability to take care of business. I will not stand by and allow outreach to strip away our identity. Some are already referring to the Dragoon's outpost as the new mercenary star. I need you and the Rough Riders to send the message loud and clear. Galatia is not ripe for the taking, nor will it become an afterthought for mercenaries seeking to ply their tried trade across the inner sphere. So let's continue. Let's do that. Continue. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to go half money and half salvage here. Because... The salvage was nice, but not, none of that was particularly special. But we will definitely take money. Okay, mission starts in 17 days. Does that mean we can... Oh, uh, okay. But it's going to wait for us, so fuck it. Yeah, I'd rather just go with my mechs that we worked on. Uh, although I don't really... Let's go with our standard Highlander here. Because, yeah, the Highlander with the Katana is nice, but it's usually not a good idea to be that close to mechs. And, generally speaking, I like to kind of stay off at a distance. Let's go with this. I think we'll go with this one. Yeah, nothing particular. Oh, and look at that. Our mission now starts even earlier. So that works. We'll wait 11 days and then start this. Yes, we'll wait 11 days to mission start. And away we go. If it's going to let us wait, fuck it. Solid work thus far, Commander, but Ronin Shredders still have control of the Mercenary Review Board Center. Stop them from extracting the data caches before Galatea's standing in the Merc trade takes another blow. I won't allow the Dragoons to have a monopoly on this. I should have grabbed a soda in between Your that last mission, but all right. Let's finish strong, Hanson. My unit's with you! We got actually friendly allied mechs with us. That's a nice. What a concept. Not going alone for once. So it's actually eight versus whatever we're going to deal with in here. Facilities more, Commander. Tracking shredded forces coming your way. Bastards have no quit in them. I'll give them that. Oh, they got artillery. Do your best to keep my boys in the fight, Mason. And I'll toss some performance bonuses your way. Okay, this is going to be a problem. Got that at least. Oh shit. Let's take off. That's gonna be a problem. Okay. So this is interesting. I don't know what the hell's up there? Ah, the artillery. Hit one cannon from here. <laughs> and that mech is still slag and just smoking. Okay. You know what, though? This is how you do artillery. Like, I don't mind having to avoid it a little bit. Like, it's when the whole thing just looks like one Venn diagram for the whole landscape that bothers me. Uh, so they must have programmed this mission specifically to take away that weird RNG element.
Imagine that. Artillery, avoiding artillery, actually being fun. Oh, what are you? Dead. <laughs> You're a pile of slag. That's what you are. <laughs> My god, I just totally ended that thing like a boss. I don't even think I stopped walking. I just pivoted, shot an SRM-6 into it, and went on with my day. Damn, really? <laughs> and then some. Wow, we're just chewing through these fuckers. Okay, got it. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. Fuck, 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 fuck. Direct hit. Oh, I hit its head from that distance. I think we got a headshot on it. I'm not sure if I did. We'll find. Jesus, how hard, how heavily armored was that tank? Was that uh, turret? Holy smokes, man! All right, we got a mech over here. That's a problem. Oh god, a fire starter. Not bad of you. <laughs> That's gonna be a problem. The hey. out web. Well, I guess they're not coming to Okay, start. so that was almost that was dicey. Okay. We got a mech, but we also got Ah. It's like what the fuck is shooting at me? You Oops. Ho ho ho, yeah, that thing needs to die in a hurry. There it is. Oh fuck, urban mech. Damn it. Come on, guys. Hit that one. Thank you. Enough out of you. <laughs> what are we doing here? I think we're just destroying stuff. I don't see obliterate the shredder's forces. All right, so there's one. There's still one more in here. We gotta find it. Where's our last straggler? Oh, there you are. No, you're not gonna. There we go. You're dead. <laughs> Good. Tell your friends. We're always looking for another payday. You saved our asses, Mason. But. We took the contract first. We're gonna cash it in. So, stand down or we'll put you down. Oh, I did not see that coming. Wow, okay. That sucks. I don't know how I didn't see, like, curse your sudden and but inevitable betrayal moment here. Right in the back. Keep moving. 
Oh, that's fucking low. <laughs> what a bunch of dicks. I love when people that betray you. Oh, hold on. I love when people that betray you suddenly act like you wronged them. Like, motherfucker, you tried to put a knife in my back. It's on. <laughs> like, you don't get to be mad about this. <laughs> wow. I will take the ER PPC for sure. ER large laser. Yep, we'll take that for sure. Please and thank you. What else we got here? Small pulse lasers. We always take pulse lasers. Okay, what else we got? Uh, yeah, we'll take a fire starter. Cool. <laughs> like, what a bunch of dicks, man. <laughs> Seriously, what a bunch of dicks. What the fuck did we just get? All right, Commander, Lawrence Bonham is giving you a glowing review following your performance quelling the pirate threat on Galatia. It's clear your unit was has not lost its touch. He has rewarded you with some substantial reward bonuses for your efforts. I'm a man of my word. I told you if you proved to be good, be a good recruit and delivered the goods, I would send more lucrative opportunities your way. An unusual job has popped up that has a chance to pay out big. A mech warrior is looking for a teammate in an upcoming qualifying tournament. Ah, being held on the entertainment world of hardcore. <laughs> okay. I'm actually not familiar with a word world named hardcore. I don't know if I just missed it in all my years of reading Battletech books. Or if they invented it for this. But if they invented this, like, fucking bravo. Uh, the winning team will earn themselves a team slot in the upcoming FedCom Unification Tournament taking place on Solaris 7 on New Year's Eve. This is a chance for you to line your pockets and keep owning that reputation of yours. If you manage to win your way to Solaris, I may be able to put uh, you forward for another job that could set your unit up for even an even bigger payday. Well, I like the sound of that. But we'll cross that bridge if we come to it. A word of warning, though. The man offering this job is a bit of an oddball. Oh my god. That just... I should just add curse your sudden but inevitable trail to my fucking soundboard. <laughs> you can see this coming. We now know it's fucking coming, right? Or it's going to be something goofy. Like they're going to put us in four uh, urban mechs or something like completely bonkers versus like four atlases, right? Uh, <laughs> whatever. He marches to the beat of a different drum. From what I hear, he has a penchant for talking and drinking way too much. Oh god, so it's like the um the curator up from the other Battletech game. But a job is a job. I know your unit has seen it all. Good luck, Commander. I hope we cross paths on Solaris in the near future. So what the fuck mech is this, right? Okay, so it's got a medium rifle that's generally not regarded as anything um particularly impressive. That's generally not just like standard tech, but that's like backwards tech. An auto cannon is almost always better, so three medium lasers. A medium rifle and two AC2s. So it's got some range to it. Loader King. I've never heard of this in my life. So let's let's claim it. Let's see what the fuck. What? Hey you! Yes, you! You looking for some hardcore mech action? Well strap in, pal! I have an offer that will make the hairs on your neck stand up and dance around like no one's watching. Rolling. Oh, oh. You're gonna have to do better than that, buddy. Hey, folks, Duncan Fisher here, broadcasting from the seat of my mech. Whoa, whoa, mama, I felt that. I should stop letting him win. Oh, come back here, you. I ain't looking for your average mech, Chuck. I need someone daring, someone who can handle their auto cannons and doesn't mind playing second billing to a rising star with personality for days. Whoa! Uh, hey, Duncan, maybe we better finish this outside the mech? Okay, guess it's time I stop making my opponent look like a million sea builds. As you can see, I'm having lots of fun, but I'm a generous guy. Whoa! Come join me and share in the fun. The last two mech warriors standing will earn a spot in the upcoming FedCom Unification Tournament being held on Solaris on New Year's Eve. Oh! So come fight with me on hardcore. I promise the action will be hardcore. Whoa. Okay, that's a wrap. But I'm 
just warming up. Okay, I'm convinced they what came. Do you think, Commander? I think that guy is gonna talk himself into an early grave. <laughs> wow. Just wow. <laughs> My god, we just watched that. Okay, so, uh, Leah, let's, yep, let's, ooh, cool, I got, I replaced my, my good target acquisition gear. So let's, let's go in here, let's repair that mech, we'll repair this, we'll go into loadout, let's, yeah, I need, well, actually, we need that, but I will go over here, and let's get my new tag that we just got, yep, perfect, excellent, repair all, start work. Yay, my Banshee is now fixed. Actually, we should take a look and see if there are any good pilots. Ooh, we do. My combat skills are meant to impress, sir. And she can have 10 of 10 of 10 of 10. Yep, we will hire that pilot. and fortune has brought us to meet. Glad to be on board, sir. Cool, so we'll start leveling her up. Okay, anything else I need to repair? Okay, that fire starter can go over here. And wow, I... Then that's an interesting mech, the Loader King, huh? Um, I wonder what I can. It doesn't look that impressive. I'm just curious. I've never even actually even heard of it either. But whatever. Okay, well, that all just happened. And that whole promo video just happened. I don't even know what to say to that. Ha <laughs> Uh, okay, wait, we can't, we, we, we're not going to be able to do that right now. So, let's depart. All right. Hey there, mech jock. Glad to have you aboard. There were a ton of folks chomping at the bit to join me here on Hardcore. And let me tell you, I'm kind of a big deal. I'm convinced they invented the world Hardcore just so they could do that pun. Besides the epic mech duels that go down, there's a whole movie scene just waiting to explode here. My charm and winning smile, they're like catnip to movie producers, all clamoring for me to star in their flicks. But listen up, I ain't interested in being the next big movie star in the inner sphere. Not yet, anyway. No siree. I'm a mech warrior, through and through. I worship all the legends. Cabal Hirsch, the legendary killer Gray Noten, and of course, Justin Allard, who steered Noten's rifleman legend killer to beat Philip Cadet in Nishtamia or uh, Ishiyama. I aim to step into those same Solaris arenas and etch my name in the annals of history. Almost got there once, but then I had to hightail it out of Solaris for reasons I won't spill because it's personal and probably fucking illegal. And probably if I knew it, I wouldn't go within five meters of you, let alone try to team up to earn sea bills, but that's beside the point. And I just don't want to. In my experience, it's never good to reveal your secrets unless you could use them for your own personal gain. Apologies if I'm rambling on. Sometimes the words just leap out of my mouth without asking. Our top priority? Winning this team, qualifying and turning on hardcore. And sure, winning back the affections of commentator Ava Masters would be a nice bonus. First up, we gotta tackle an opening gauntlet match. It's enough to rattle even the most seasoned mech jocks, but I reckon you've got the chops for it. Admittedly, I didn't have time to vet uh, you proper like, mainly because it slipped my mind after my latest better. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> God, this is really happening right now. But hey, going into a mech duel unprepared makes you one dangerous, unpredictable opponent. Our competitors won't know what hit them. So gear up. I'll see you in the arena. Yeah, let's set course. Holy, holy fuck. <laughs> this is bonkers. I love this DLC campaign so far. This is great fun. It's over the top campy. This is, this is great. I'm gonna go downstairs real quick. And grab myself a new, uh, a new soda here real quick. But, let's take a look at the cantina first. Medium, okay. We like medium lasers, especially top tier medium lasers. We'll accept that one. Do I really care about an SRM4 at this stage? Probably not. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Okay. Give me two seconds. Let me just take one quick break. I will be right back with a soda refill. Uh, give me two, three minute stops. And you know what, while I'm at it, I'll just run an ad real quick so it won't interrupt gameplay.
Okay, folks. I have returned, and we got some more stuff to list, read off here. Let's go get my headphones back in. And then away we go. Oh. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> that was almost like, uh... Okay, let's take a look here. All right, buddy, listen up. The gauntlet match is about to kick off, and I need you to keep your cool. We got this. Don't doubt yourself or your abilities for a second. If we fail to fail, <laughs> if we fail to win this tournament, we'll be denying Solaris the chance to witness the rise of the next great mech warrior. Me. You know what the <laughs> you know the fans are itching to live on the edge of their seats and chant Duncan Fisher's name. We gotta give them what they want. Who knows? Maybe these teams will just fold at the mere sight of me. Ready to lay down and let me sprint back to Solaris. But in case they don't, they may, act, or, and they actually put up a fight. Get ready to bring the heat. I'll be right there with you, soaking up every moment. I mean, sure, I'll fire a few laser blasts too. But now that I see you up close, I kind of get the feeling you won't need much help. So fire away when we hit the arena. I won't feel like you're hogging all the action. My trusty mech's showing its age. Not likely to catch its second wind anytime soon. I don't know why he talked about age, but like pretty much every battle mech you deal with is probably not new. Um, so battle mechs in this universe, they're they're almost like uh, suits of armor back in the Middle Ages. They're usually like handed down or their family holdings. Uh, they're they're almost always at the very minimum decades, if not hundreds of years old. Um, so, it's a, yeah, I'm not sure what that's all about. But anyway, uh, where was I? Uh, right, so it's not likely to catch its second win anytime. Took a nasty hit last go around, glitched out on me like a stubborn mule, oh god. But hey, optimism's the name of the game, right? And we do a roar around to land a hand, I reckon we'll manage just fine. Let's chalk up that mishap to the things I'd rather not repeat. <laughs> In my book, ignoring troubles often makes them vanish quicker than a pilot's clothes after an ammo blast. <laughs> All right, enough talk. Strap in and let's do this. Okay, well, this guy is definitely a fucking character. Wow, I almost hit that by accident. That would have been bad. Hopefully there's like a confirmation thing. So, uh, yep, the Solaris qualifying tournament's primed and ready to kick off. We're di diving headfirst into the heart of a grueling gauntlet match. But for powerful mech warriors like us, this should be a cakewalk. Get ready to witness some serious mayhem in the arena. We're only the best survive and the rest are just donors to the scrapyard. All right, so let's see what's gonna happen here. Wow, the base is nearly five million C bills. Holy shit! Well, yeah, I'll make six million C bills, and let's just go salvage just to see what's gonna happen here. The nasty weather means your visibility okay, so will just be me. limited out there and have adverse effects on your sensors. So that being the case. I think we'll bring in the mech that's kind of designed for this whole thing. I think we'll go with this uh, Gladiator Highlander. I think that's the better play here. Let's do it. And let's see what we're going up against. It's time to party. Here we go. The qualifying tournament on Hardcore is about to kick off. The opening phase is a 2v2 gauntlet followed by a team free-for-all match. The final team standing will punch their ticket to the FedCom Unification Tournament on Solaris. Running the gauntlet, we have Jake Mason and Duncan, the disappointing Fisher. She, uh, got it in for you? Uh, romantic detour gone awry. Ha 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 Great. Great, that's great. Your ex is our fucking announcer. Jason and Fisher face a tough test right out of the gate. The Teal Twins have been taking the Magistracy of Konopis by storm with their winning ways. They've really been on a tear this recent circuit. Not Fuck. 
Oh my god, the Teal Twins are eliminated in stunning fashion. Back way, back way, back way. Good. Somehow, Duncan Fisher's team has made it through the first round. <laughs> I'm shocked because Duncan never rises to the occasion. Damn, sounds like you really got on her bad side. Uh, she had the misfortune of meeting my intoxicated alter ego, Drunken Fisher. She wasn't a fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Now mind you, they sent us two hunchbacks. That's such bullshit. Cool. If they're actually gonna heal it, that's awesome. All right. That's awesome. That is awesome. I actually so appreciate that they did this for the DLC. That rules. That fucking rules. All right. So, uh, my uh, lance mate here, my uh, partner in crime, he's in a fucking warhammer. So. I gotta make sure he stays alive. But if this pilot is in any way, shape, or form accurate, they should be able to put a lot of. Actually, can I? Actually, well, yeah, well, let me do that. I wonder if I could target him. Nah, I can't scan him. I'd like to know what the stats are of that Warhammer. I think there is a way to do that. This match is dragging. Looks like these pilots are maxed out. Who's got the will to survive here? Round we got two this. Is about to commence. Standing in our challenger's way is the Invictus Stable, and they've lived up to their name. Losing a match is a rarity for these mech warriors. Jake Mason and Duncan Fisher are going to be in some serious trouble here. Trouble and I are well acquainted. It strikes about as much fear in me as a plumber facing down a black toilet. I'm having second thoughts about accepting this offer, Commander. Ugh, already on my third. <laughs> Fucker. Big shot landed. Lost on the arm. Savage. That was fucking savage. We obliterated that fucking mech. More shooting. New target. That had to hurt. Don't know how they're still standing after that one. Oh, Team Invictus has been dispatched. A heavy favorite, now history. Sayonara! Another opponent falls to my autocannon. An incredible personality. Don't take this the wrong way, pal, but uh, you're a horrible shot. <laughs> there isn't a right way to take that. <laughs> Yeah, that Victor could have fucked us up really bad. Uh, but yeah, we just we just kind of went up and just wailed on it. I'm loving this katana, man. For these close quarters combats, the katana on this mech is perfect for this. I'm so glad I picked this mech for this. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking great. You can see the fatigue setting in. It's all about who wants it more now. And I love like the completely empty match continues. Somehow, Jake Mason and Duncan Fisher are still standing, defying all logic and reason. Defying logic and reason is kind of my thing. But the path to victory is about to get even harder. Stepping into the arena is the forgotten foes. And they're gonna make Duncan Fisher remember all the beatings he's taken in his previous matches. Oh ho ho! Uber crit!
damn it. It's the exact Cyclops that, uh, this. That's enough out of you. This is amazing. So yeah, getting back to where I was uh, talking about anybody who knows sports, so many times like the commentators just add empty commentary of like, oh, who wants it more? And it's not just, it's not a case of like, you know, this really isn't a good matchup for this particular team because, um, you know, they're really, uh, you know, they're a little undersized and fast, which works. This match is turning into a low event battle. Someone needs to do something to kick it up a notch. Like a couple of years ago, I was watching the Steelers uh, play somebody. And um, so anyway, uh, the, the uh, team they were playing uh, was just kind of like really good at... boy so um but yeah so anyway um but yeah the steelers were running all over them and the commentators are like oh the steelers just want it more and i'm like the, the other team's not built to protect against the run they went co totally into losing steam these mech warriors are showing signs of wear and tear can they rally they need to battle until the bitter end he just took a vicious hit Oh. oh wow, that's one go far down. Alright. Now well, looks like we've really split them up. Ah, shit. Alright, fine, let's do it. I wanted. Yeah, I had a feeling. Let's do this. Boom! I was expecting something completely crazy tactics wise. But yeah, as soon as I saw that Annihilator, I'm like, nope, I don't want to get anywhere close to that. But I couldn't get far enough away from it where I was out of range. So at that point, I'm like, all right, just close distance and whack it with that katana. Because at this point, ooh, those are good. Um, because the katana just does so much damage. If I hit the same location, like a center torso, it doesn't matter how heavily armored that other mech is, it's probably going down. Definitely take a small pulse laser. We always take pulse lasers and double heat sinks. Yes, please. And oh. Yes. <laughs> I'd rather have the double heat sink than the small pulse laser. For sure. Wow, that was awesome. There was some really good loss tech in that. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. And thanks to those repair bays. Oh, he killed one of the mechs. Nice. I'm glad he killed one of them. But yeah, I killed five mechs and he got one. <laughs> so clearly I'm doing most of the work here. But that's okay. You're tearing up the competition out there. I'm just going to toss some sweet firepower your way. Uh, that'll help you blow the competition right out of the arena. Well, I appreciate that. 
Uh, you're welcome. Just keep doing what you're doing, buddy. I knew I found someone as awesome as me. My eye for talent is almost as good as my eye for beautiful women. Although Ava Masters was really, really good looking. I totally understand him. <laughs> like, I can't deny that there. Those other mech warriors think they're the bee's knees, strutting around like they own the place. Well, now it's time to show them who's boss. Let's keep raining destruction down on them until they're begging for mercy. Mercy. They won't know what hit them. And hey, once we've mopped up the floor with these sorry excuses for pilots, it's time to kick back and relax. Sure, Hardcore might out not have the glitz and glamour of Solaris, but it's got its own charm. We'll find a decent dive, knock back a few stiff ones, and pretend we're living it up in the Valhalla Club. Who knows? Maybe this time we won't rack up quite as many unpaid tabs. Cheers to that. All right. Wow. Top tier PPC X's. The PPC X is top tier. Those, those are really good. All right. So now that I know we're probably going to be dealing with very close up issues. I don't think I've got that. Grab 27. Huh? Let's take a look. Yeah, we'll, we'll repair you. Now knowing what I'm dealing with. Now knowing what I'm dealing with. I'm almost tempted to put those two PPCXs on this atlas and rock a twin PPC atlas that will just re completely devastate things at close up. Although I like the fact that this atlas can stay at at range and punch at range but then you know still do a lot of damage up close but at the same time ooh, or we could put it on the hero battle master or we could put it on this hero battle master oh chad i think i think that might be the way to do this that might be the way to do this because boy, oh boy, at that point, this Battlemaster will just be able to just absolutely murder things close up. Especially with all those streak SRMs that it has built into it. Hmm. Although the Victor might not be so bad either with the black market countermeasures. That actually might not be, that might not be bad. You know what, I'll just keep that for now. I'll keep it in mind. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel on these. At least at the moment. I don't think that's because the Battlemaster's neat, but it's not um I don't know though, actually. Four medium lasers and a eh, eh. Alright, we'll just keep this. We'll keep up with this. We're not gonna I'm not gonna go great completely bonkers over that. Oh baby, those chumps spit the dust. You're worth every sea bill, buddy. Some impressive teams are now residents in the loser's circle, thanks to us. Putting on a show for Ava Masters is just icing on the cake. But Ava's gonna have to wait, because Solaris is calling me back, and my heart belongs to those famed arenas and the Valkala Club. My time on Solaris got cut short before I could become the star I know I am, but eventually fate stops being a jerk and will let nature take its course. I'm scripting a tale that ends on Solaris, and nothing is gonna stand in my way. Well, except for these final teams in this free-for-all match. Honestly, they should just throw in the towel now and save us some time. But nope, they're going to drag us through the motions. So let's not play with our food and vaporize these pretenders. Then punch our golden ticket to Solaris. The Duncan Fisher comeback tour is on. All right, so let's do this. I think that worked out really well, actually. We'll just go, we'll just go money and salvage and away we are. All right, so mission either starts in seven days or... Or I just switch. You know, we could go this route. Yeah, let's go this route. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's let's have some fun with this mech. <laughs> and here we go. This is a team free-for-all match to decide who will snag the opening team slot in the upcoming FedCom Unification Tournament being held on Solaris on New Year's Eve. I think she means the next chapter in my heroic journey back to Solaris. Get your head in the fight. We can't talk our way through this. Where there is a will and sharp wits, there is a way. How have you stayed alive this long? I gotta prevent him from being eliminated? Fuck. Story. I can't die. 
New target. Ugh, I'm getting too old for this shit. <laughs> Just became a casualty of battle. All right, so what? I'm being a little strategic, knowing I have to keep. Oh fuck! Games there he goes. Knights, Damn it! Terminators and demon sharks look fierce. There's also the mudslingers to deal with. Mason and Fisher are facing stiff competition. When we're through with them, they'll all be limp noodles strewn across the arena floor. Hey, head on a swivel. They're closing in from every direction. Whoa, mama! You, man, I love these ultra auto cannons. Let's uh, let's redirect here. It's hover. Hopefully, they shoot themselves a little bit there. I was actually kind of trying to keep him out of a. No oh, fuck. We gotta take out, we gotta take out this guy, and we got somebody on our six. So hopefully he can do. Okay, we got him behind us. He should just vaporize this Orion. Oh, that javelin is still alive. We got him. One more. I think we eliminated just about everybody. Oh, we got a griffin that can't hit me. Damn it. I don't think I can, I don't think it'll let me re activate the repair bay. Or maybe, oh, good. Alright, so we can activate the repair bay. Fuck, man, I lost a, uh, auto cannon and an LRM. Oh. Well, that sucked. I just got these auto cannons running. I just got these auto cannons running, man. Ah. Uh. All right. Well, let's see. At least I'll get the armor back. I don't think this uh, brings back lost equipment here. That fucking sucks. Looks like these mech warriors are fighting underwater now. I was doing okay up until uh yet another chance for Duncan Fisher and Jake Mason to finally be taken out of the competition. Not that I'm rooting for that or anything. No, not at all. You. Let's deal with you. Really? Okay. Let's get over here. Fuck, 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 fuck. This match is losing its momentum out there. These mech warriors seem to be reposition. Let's hope they've still got some gas left in the tank. Go. I was able to shoot it right in the back. That was awesome. Nope. Back up. Back up. Back up. Good. Okay. Let's get some speed. Oh. Yeah. We got to get rid of that annihilator. We definitely have to get rid of that annihilator.
Got it. Let's get over here. Get back to some cover. Okay, we got you. <laughs> Alright, that didn't work. That did not work. Just trying to get past it. Yeah, I just lost a component because I'm. That was dumb. Man, come on, where is it? Thank you. Alright, we got him. Well, I still have two good top tier auto cannon fives, but man, damn, damn. All right. Good thing dumb luck is always on my side. The first paint scheme was way better than this one, but no big deal. It's, it sucks, but it's, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Let's, uh, wow, we actually could have gotten a mara another Marauder too. That would have been cool. Don't need that one. Um, hmm, it's an interesting one. Although I definitely want the ER PPC. That is an interesting bit of salvage. But now we'll go with the PPCXs here. And, uh. That's brutal. Alright, well, you know what? At least I'll get. I'll at least get those. I'll figure out what I'm giving up in a second. Okay, well, I definitely want that. Wow, double heat sinks, but. Now, those are more valuable. Okay, what am I giving up here? Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. So that sucked. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, we got a Highlander. All right. We got a new. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we got a more, a more arena-based Highlander. Okay, so I could put a gauze rifle on that right arm if I really wanted to. I don't think so. I don't think this is a very good variant for this. I think the actual Highlander that we already have with the great sword is a better fit. Although it's got an arena supercharger, so that's interesting. You know, the supercharger actually, you know, the supercharger, I just noticed it had a supercharger in it. So essentially what that does is it allows you to go a lot faster. I love to take a look at that because that really might, that might change my mind. That might change my mind. We'll see. All right, well, slap me with a cooling canister and call it a victory. That was hardcore and intensely satisfying. The pressure of the moment was staring us in the face. What do we do? Our auto cannon said, we will not be denied. Boom, that's how legends are made. You, my friend, are clutch. No bum moves here. This bodes well for me finally taking Solaris by storm and claiming my rightful place amongst the great mech warriors who graced the arenas. When all's said and done, mech fans will reward me like the legend killer Grey Noten. Justin Allard will be begging me for my autograph and asking me for tips. Oh my God, this fucking guy. They might even end up renaming an arena after yours truly. Well, let's not forget you, my trusty companion. It would have been a bit more tricky without you on the team. Are you kidding me? Of course it is. I killed, like, most of them. I, I think I may have actually killed every fucking mech that died in that arena. That's fine. Let's not forget. Anyway, I'm throwing in a nice sweet bonus to keep you on my side and give me rack up the wins. Once we hit the nearest watering hole in Slara City, first drink's on me. Then, of course, I'll graciously let you buy me a few rounds, right? So recharge those systems, buddy. I need you in top shape for the tournament. We can't just have a small pit stop. Uh, we just have a small pit stop to make. Friends hook me up with a souped up mech that allow me to showcase my skills and snag glory in the Fedcom Unification Tournament. We're going to ring in the New Year in style. Oh, boy. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's take a look at this thing. God damn. Oh, oh. Oh, can't believe that shit. Just fucking 
had that. Of course, I should have known that an arena fight like that would have been pretty crazy. We'll do this. Thing. I mean, it's still going to be virtually the same. Although, wow, that firepower really did dramatically reduce. But that's okay. Not the end of the world. But let's take a look at this Highlander. Uh, let's take a look at this. Let's look at the loadout. Let's see what we can do. So Assault Katana. I think we'll go with the Assault Katana here. Assault Greatsword. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, no, the Assault Greatsword is heavier. Hmm. Okay. So maybe Assault Battle Axe. Because the Battle Axe will do a little more damage, but it doesn't weigh nearly as much. Or I put in an Assault Katana. We can make this work. Let's see. Assault Greatsword. I do like the, uh, the 85 damage to it instead. Let's keep that for now. All right. Let's go into details. Let's get rid of these medium lasers. Let's put in two really good medium lasers. Let's do that. We're getting rid of that. So I've got two choices. I could either put in an AC-20. That's really freaking good. Wait, do I not have any? Okay, there we go. <laughs> probably, we'll, we'll probably end up doing this AC-20. Uh, and then just really be able to blow away things with that because holy shit. Uh, or I could put in a gauze rifle on this thing. Fifteen tons. I don't actually have the weight to do that. Can't substitute the AC-20 for a gauze rifle. Can't actually do that. All right, at least straight up. I'd have to substitute, I would have to take this out, probably put in an assault katana in there instead. This is definitely more of a short range. Yeah, you know what, we'll go, we'll go with the AC-20 here. We will go with the AC-20 because this is clearly more of a short range build. could put in two LRM 10s. We could go that route. But I don't think so. I think we're just going to go... Let's go to two SRM 6s here. Yeah, it's a lot more firepower. All right, this... What's the difference? Okay, the Arena, su the arena Supercharger... Mark 5. It weighs 7.5 tons, whereas the normal mask weighs 5 tons. Speed boost is plus 50. Speed boost is 120. Holy shit. Alright, so this will definitely help me close the distance in a hell of a hurry. Alright, so I mean, I see, the, I see the potential of this mech. I do see the potential of this thing. So let's do that. And it would be, that is a good arena. That is definitely a good arena mech, for sure. And we have the heart. Let's go look at the equipment. Wow, the R large laser? Oh, well. Yeah, nothing in here is particularly interesting. Okay. Let's depart. All right. Congratulations on securing your team spot in the FedCom Unification Tournament. Your consistent success speaks volumes about your skill and determination. I can only imagine the caliber of competition you faced in the arena, and yet you still managed to emerge victorious. As you make your way towards Solaris, I feel it's my duty to shed light on a concerning development unfolding within the shadows of Solaris City. Oh, this ought to be good. A group of ex-mech warriors known as the Inglorious Outcasts have been causing disturbances behind the scenes. These individuals, scarred by the unforgiving brutality of the arena, are now seeking to send a message through violent means. A recent defector from their ranks, often found drowning their sorrows in Solaris's taverns, 
has provided some intriguing information. Through careful surveillance and clandestine eavesdropping, my sources have uncovered discussions of a potential attack during the upcoming tournament at Steiner Stadium. It seems that these disgruntled ex-mech warriors, feeling marginalized and excluded, are planning to make a statement disrupt by disrupting the event. I will not reveal the identity of my employer on this. If the outcasts got wind of who is undermining them, they would face lethal consequences. And so would I, from both sides. They would like to avoid making an enemy of such an unhinged group. Rest assured, I'm actively pursuing further intelligence on this matter. As I gather more concrete details, I will ensure to keep you informed before the tournament commences in earnest. I'll be in touch. Oh, duration 174 days. Okay, so let's close. And let's... Okay. Find armor. Find armor. Let's do that. Perfect. So I'll have this Highlander in 70 days and we got plenty of time. Perfect. Well, I could actually, I could have, actually, I could have added more to it. But at least this way I get the armor padding on it. God, are going to take 174 days? No, you know what? Fuck that. Let's. Yeah, let's get the refund on that back. And let's go into here. Let's do upgrades. Yeah. Let's do that. Don't need to worry about range. But you definitely are going to have damage tuning for sure. You're definitely going to boost top speed. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. And you're definitely going to want the anchor turn because you're going to be navigating a lot in those spaces. Start work. Done. It's fine. Now we'll depart. <laughs> oh god, what do we got now? Wow. Pandemonium is raging downtown Solaris City. Moments ago, I caught up with Randall Logan, a member of the Inglorious Outcasts, the group suspected of commandeering the mech and setting it aflame. For years, the Solaris Games and others like it have offered great wealth and fame to countless victors. But they have also maimed or ended the lives of many others, all to the sound of cheers and applause. We call on those responsible. Blah, blah, blah. This sounds like boring nonsense. A big old nothing burger with extra cheese. Let's get down to business. Solaris, <laughs> the holy grail of mech duel. Yours truly finally makes a triumphant return to these legendary arenas. Citizens across Greyland and Equatus and the entire Indosphere will watch as I blow up. <laughs> Metaphorically, of course. Burning to death is not my idea of a good time. But obliterating other mech warriors that are fighting in the Solaris arenas? Haha! <laughs> Count me in! This guy is a Buckle fucking up, character. Daddy's home. This guy is such a fucking character. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, uh, Duncan, that sounded. Really fucking important, actually. <laughs> oh my god. This fucking guy. Alright, rare ER large laser. Yes, I will definitely... Although I only own four of them, but shit, still, we'll take that. Actually, my two anti-missile systems. Right, there's nothing else of real value there. Uh, well, let's take a look at the mech market. I've seen it all. Now, I want to get paid for it. Wow. Finally! Got something for me, big boss? We're not. Okay. It's good to be back. We're in the shit now. Uh, I, I would say so, Duncan. It sounds more like we're in a shit show, but that's fine. Apologies for the crappy meeting spot. My friend is a bit on the paranoid side. Now, for a bit of history. 
These swamplands used to host a massive sewage treatment plant during the Storm of the Kara, giving the whole place that distinct aroma of, well, you get the idea. But no time to stop and sniff those stinky roses. This location may not scream luxury, but it's perfect for covert meetings and clandestine dealings. Now under the juicy stuff. My contact, a real mover and shaker over at Solaris Arms, has been dishing out the deets on cutting-edge mech R&D. Between you and me, they're at the forefront of mech ass kickery. Here's the deal. If I'm going to make a splash in Solaris, I can't rely on my old bucket of bolts. Nope. I need the latest and greatest and Solaris Arms has the big guns. So let's get those engines humming. Hit the road. Kick this into high gear. We got a few drinks waiting for us before the tournament kicks off. And you know I can't pass up a good celebration for any reason to knock back one for the men. Onward to glory. I've got history to make and fans to entertain. Why do I have a feeling he's stealing this mech? Why do I have a feeling he's stealing this mech? Okay, crank up the excitement, dust off those cockpit trolls, and embark on the epic journey to claim the souped up mech that awaits in the mysterious Bracken Swamp. Oh god, he's buying a mech that fell off the fucking truck. Never mind, that's probably what he's doing. Oh, you didn't think Duncan would come to Solaris without a little upgrade, did you? <sighs> this is happening now. This, this is, this is my life now. At least he's paying me well. Like, at least we are being because of the heavy paid weather, well. Your visibility will be compromised on this mission, Commander. Stay frosty. This is an interesting question. I think we'll give this a whirl. Let's give this a whirl. Oh shit, that looks awesome. Oh, uh, let's go in here. Not this way. There we go. Paint mech. Select all, select none, and now I just have to find. There it is. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that does look awesome. All right, and we got a nice AC20 to just completely waste shit. Although, if we're going in, this is an arena, then I want this mech. But if we're just going out into the, let's view the contract. No, 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 no. Okay, now we're fine. Okay, going out into the. Let's let's give this thing a. Tr let's give this mech a whirl. I do need to look up what button. Now, Activates the speed boost. My contact is set to meet us at the marked sewage plant. That's a crappy place for a deal to go down, but I need my souped up mech. Then I'll be ready to take Solaris by storm. Or should I say, shitstorm? Those are some of the worst puns ever. 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 That's terrible. That's terrible. That's just. That's just terrible. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. So let's go with uh let's go with this on that and this on this. So assuming I'm doing this correctly. Perfect. All right. All right. So there's that. Okay. The other option I need is keybind. It's keybind. No. What is mask? Activate mask. Left alt. Okay, good. Toggle mask. I don't know what that means. But left alt. Okay. Oh shit. Right. That's how it looks. Cool. I've never actually used it in a mech before. <laughs> So here we are. That is a pretty nice shirt burst of speed. I don't know if I like the idea that it takes up seven tons in this mech, but... Ah. Gotcha. Okay, and any time you go past that, you could potentially deal with get damage or whatever. Alright. That could work. Staying in one happy 
Come on, give me a target here. Oh ho ho! Not what I wanted. There we go. Direct hit that motherfucker. It's not bad of you. Fucking Jaegermech. Problem is that Jaegermech can do a lot of damage to you if you let it. But they tend to be lightly armored. I don't think an arena mech would have been good for this, but it does at least allow me to figure out if this mech is going to be something good for me to pilot in the future. Oh yeah, we literally just got ambushed by fucking highwaymen. <laughs> like, you gotta be kidding me. All right, we'll see what mech he gets after this. What fresh hell bullshit thing are we going to deal with now? I don't see anybody here. I am liking this great sword though. That's true. Boom. Damn, I can't even see anything. Oops. Well, he killed it before I could. We got it. All right, we got two more, huh? Hey, one more. Got to be around here somewhere. It's probably another tank. Wouldn't be surprised if it's hiding up in there somewhere. Behind us. That's the last of them. Those highwaymen chumps hit the road hard. You need enemies with the wrong people. I make enemies with the right people too. So the joke's on you. <laughs> Copy that. So tell me, what's so special about this mech? Not a clue. But I've got a friend who tells me he's been playing with recovered Helm Core tech, the cutting edge of mech ass kickery. I don't like that the nav point is right in the middle of this area, but yeah, let's blow this up before I get anywhere close to it. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. Yeah, this is a much warmer welcome than I'd 
Missed it. It is harder to hit with the AC-20, but boy, when it does, it does so much damage. Boom! fucking guy. My god. I don't know how long this whole campaign goes, so I'm now looking at the time and I'm like, hmm, do I kind of call it here? Let's take this crab. Not a bad mech, though. Definitely not a bad mech. Well, Travis Shirk, Shirk turned out to be a real piece of work. I mean, I didn't expect a red carpet, but I sure as hell didn't think he'd try to put a cap in us. You know, I'm usually really good at talking my way out of trouble. That I find hard to believe, but this time, they weren't just pointing a gun at my head, they were firing at it. Let me fill you in on why I skipped down from Solaris in the first place. Yeah, now would be a good time. See, a while back, Solaris Arms sponsored yours truly to flaunt their fancy mechs, and let me tell you, the pressure was on. But here's the kicker. I had a rough patch of losses, and the fans started whispering that I was throwing matches on purpose. Can you believe it? They thought I was being so good at being bad. So I cooked up a plan to sharpen my skills, make a grand comeback, and win back the hearts of Solaris fans while clearing my debts. I was sure that once I got my hands back on my mech, it'd be smooth sailing. But let me tell you, the water's just got a whole lot choppier. That souped up mech we just grabbed? Turns out it's rigged with a nasty kill switch. Travis gets the last laugh this time. My trusty old rust bucket is too banged up for a quick fix, leaving me high and dry with nothing to roll into the tournament with but my skin, bones, and a sharp tongue. And even I know I can't use my words as ammo out there. So, uh, Mason, looks like you're gonna have to brave the arena without old Duncan Fisher. <laughs> God damn it. Think you can handle the heat without my flare? It ain't gonna be a walk in the park. But I know you got the skills. As for me, I'll be waiting for the next tournament to swing around so I can strut my stuff. In the meantime, I'll be in your corner, cheering you on and offering up my unbeatable expertise and colorful insights as you blast your way to championship glory. Mother... Fucker. <laughs> Mother... Fucker. Is this guy for real? Yeah, let's just repair. Uh, that is actually not a bad mech. That is not a bad mech. Um, so yeah, I guess this is the question. Do I go one more? Or is this a good time for me to call it here? I think this is a good time for me to call it because I don't know if this is going to be the last one or not. So let's uh, let's do that. Let's save. Let's save. Let's save. We'll do a new save. Solaris. Perfect. And uh, now that we've saved, let's exit let's see who's on. Maybe Saram is still on. We can go raid right out to her. But uh, let's let's get this whole thing worked up here. Uh, either way, I'm I'm uh, I'm obviously not going to stream on Thursday night because at this point it looks like I've got plans. So I will probably I think I will probably stream this Sunday night. I don't think I'm going to be streaming Saturday because um, uh, Saturday or yeah, Saturday's got a previous engagement. Uh, so I will be occupied on Saturday as far as I'm aware, but, uh, I'll try and stream Sunday night just to get back to some semblance of a streaming schedule. But in the meantime, let's, uh, let's get ready to raid out to Saram. She is in fact on, uh, let's get this party started. Um, of course I have to navigate this thing because I always have to navigate this, uh, very awkward um, raid menu. It used to be a much easier raid menu to, uh, to navigate, but here we are. Um, all right. So this thing's got started now. All right. So in the meantime, looks like she's playing Warframe. Awesome stuff. So I want to thank everybody who came out tonight. I had a great time. It's nice to be doing the whole streaming thing again. It was cool to finish Mech Warrior 5. So that was pretty awesome. I hope everybody, you have a great rest of your week. Happy Halloween. Uh, and the next time I see you, uh, I will just see you all approximately, uh, later. In the meantime, we're going to go raid SRAM. 
let's go over there and say hello. Until next time, I say sayonara.